This is definitely the song where you start and telling Tony your friends Soprano. Microphone skills. check. One, two, what is this? Welcome to the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble and gracious and grateful host, mm. Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. I got Boston Mall to my right. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, ain't nobody approaching me on the right side. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. You're safe over here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I see you, no. wore, you no. wore your green. You wore your green for Boston, but still uh, put the African stuff in there. Ooh, they'll fuck you up out here for all that African shit. <laughs> you, you right. Just, 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 I thought about just, that when just, I was walking just, down the block. Just, just stand behind Parks. Yeah. Yeah, just, just stand behind I'm with, Parks. I'm with Parks tonight. Uh, uh, Rory's the redhead, man. That's, that's, that's the protection yeah, you need I, out I here. fit in out here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you might be from here in the low. <laughs> for real. <laughs> Definitely got ties. Rory's got a, f- a few trailer parks he owns. <laughs> <laughs> Does Boston have trailer parks? I don't know. <laughs> they do now. <laughs> okay. Well, by the time this comes out, I'll be And y'all are so. Patriots fans, so y'all right at home. Mm, We're a former Patriots Me and Maul going to hit Gillette. Us. Okay, we do a podcast to millions of people who don't really give a fuck about Boston. So, okay. okay. And, and we're performing here yesterday, so... <laughs> <laughs> we just killed the show. Uh, I got my guy Parks here. Hey, yep. let me hear some of these drops, man. Hold up, it should sound dry. No, 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 Joe No, Warrior and Ma. It's Parks. It's Parks. I got my guy Irish McNasty here. Rory to my left. Uh, Savon is here. Erickson is here. Uh, Steve Dollars is here. Dollar Dollar Bill, y'all. Uh, and we are recording from uh, a different studio, but still feels like home when you record in studios your entire life. Welcome to episode 252. Uh, and shout out to our Spotify listenership, our YouTube viewership. Shout out to everybody that has came out to these shows and supported us, these meet and greets. Boy, it's fun seeing y'all and talking to y'all, man, listening to y'all. Uh, shout out to everybody listening from home. Shout out to everybody who 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 is just with us, man. It's just with us on this journey. Spiritually, yeah, emotionally, yeah, man. physically. Yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got, man. <laughs> How's everybody feeling? Good, man. Shout out to the crane operators. Okay. They're building a, a building in front of my building, uh-huh. so I'm leaving. Mm. But there's a big <laughs> <laughs> But there's a big crane in front of my window now. That's a bold job. And that's a scary fucking job. Word. I watched them put another piece of the crane into the crane. Nah, and a crane on I top left. of a crane. I was terrified. I'm good. So shout out to them. I love when like shit like that happens in the universe where somebody's white privilege is ruined just for a hot second. Rory <laughs> thought he had a view. Oh, it's not there anymore. He thought he had a view. He thought he was getting a view. No, you're like us. <laughs> <laughs> you move up town. You must yeah. move up town. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, same boy. view I got. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying. Uh, how y- uh, so y'all feeling good? Feeling, feeling great. great. Good. Uh, man. Which is which is probably a, a, f- a first when you've been on the road this long. But this is good. Mm. Yeah. One one down. One more. One more down. Well, both yeah. of them. Well, one more to go. Yeah. Fifteen go. down. One more to go. Uh, tonight we are at the Roots picnic. Catch us in front of hers performance. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> wherever <laughs> her is performing, that is where we will be until we are not allowed to be there anymore. Well, actually, yeah. hers opening up for us. That's a good point. If you, you want to look at the schedule, uh, I'm not saying that. <laughs> Uh, that was Rory, <laughs> <laughs> former employee of Sony, uh, Duce Palooza. What's his title again? GM. Duce Walk Young M A N. Yes, <laughs> that is my. That says that on my business card. <laughs> if you yeah, go to my LinkedIn, I wish you'll y'all would have seen Rory Walk Young M A N that night. I did. I was, you did. I was there. He Coney pushed, Allen. He pushed us right. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. He, All right. Well, yeah. Were, were you in the way? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> He's always moved, peasants. Yeah, it's true. Um, nah, you just you had just touched the stage, so it wasn't mm. your time anymore. Damn, you opened up for Young and May. Mm-hmm. He did up. open up for Young and May. He did. That's did. a good look. I did. Great. It was a good. She had the song in the summer. Yeah. Well, in my defense, Rory walked me into. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah, walked me into. It was a much calmer walking, but mm. whatever. Um, where were we at? Where were we at? Where where did we just just we, leave? we were in DC. DC oh, and yeah, obviously man, Boston. Man, yeah, DC. DC was Round love. of applause for DC, man. Great Absolutely. crowd. Great Yeah, theater. round round of applause great for Great City. Great turnout. Yeah. Great great turnout. Uh so much love and support out there. So much so that you stayed on stage until literally everybody in the building left. Yeah, Joe was actually asking employees of the theater if he could get a picture with them at mm. that point. That's Humble just, and gracious right there. That's just single Joe. <laughs> single yeah, Joe usually was, Joe, single Joe gives a salute. Single Joe wants to talk to everybody, see what's going on out there in the world. Okay. So how are you? 
<laughs> how are you feeling today? Yeah, how's your uncle? <laughs> <laughs> he, doesn't, yeah. he doesn't know any of these people. <laughs> yeah. You know what's Joe's secretly waiting for them to be like, well, how are you? Yeah, yeah, that's always it's Come funny. on. It's <laughs> funny you ask. Come on, come on. <laughs> ask me, ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Not too well, man. Not too well. Uh, first of all, I'm well, Rory. That's number one. Uh, t- I'm all... Everything I do now, you're going to attribute to, like, some type of single Joe shit. Of course. For all of my career, I've stayed on stage and spoken to fans after the show. My entire career, I've dat dudes. It's documented. It's footage. I'm not no, saying, I'm not saying <laughs> you Yeah, you don't. were there, so come on, <laughs> give it up. You never okay. closed the venue down. Yeah, I never yeah. seen you stay that long. Uh, well, okay, okay, there you go. There Literally you go. the last yeah, person the in last the crowd you was shook, you. You shook the, you shook the usher's hand. <laughs> uh, well, the Cougars were on me. Mm, talk about one it. cougar in there last night with a another. red dress on. Oh, then that's not even the cougar I'm talking about. Oh, it was another one? Multiple. Shit. Look at the Smash Brothers. <laughs> no, don't look <laughs> at the They ran on stage, had a double date with the Cougars. Ah, look at no. this. Look at the Smash. Hey. No. Growing up in front of our wow. eyes. No. Yes, Maul, no. finally. No, no, thank you. No? Uh, well, yeah, it was good talking to all the fans. Fuck y'all. Um, no, it was fun watching you talk to all the fans. Yeah. Oh, it was great talking to the fans. And then after that, though, let's let's get to after that. Mm. Did you guys hit the streets? Mm, the I think the Smash Brothers was out. Oh, y'all were smashing? The Smash Brothers did. Well, it was, you know. I heard you wanted to throw a couple dollars, man. Yeah, man, I had to, you know, pay tides. I saw you know a flick. Yeah. I had to pay it was tides. a nice pick, too. I saw a nice flick. You I'm, had a lot of money. I'm getting yeah. that pick. It was, the <laughs> money was in the air, though. It wasn't, yeah. like, in your pocket. There's a few of those picks that were taken last night that I'm getting in my phone, and I ain't in none of them. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you that one. So, so I'm not in one of them picks. I definitely want when Ball what? calls me. Not that he ever calls me, but when it does happen, I want Maul throwing money in my phone. Yeah. I'm definitely I'm cropping up. Maul out of some of them picks, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going down. It's just going to be the ass <laughs> pop-up when Maul calls you? Uh, No. The no, legs. When, when when Maul calls me, I have the picture of him planking on the roof. <laughs> that is a classic. Why do you picture. still remember when planking was a thing? <laughs> well, Maul was weird times. Maul, Maul is on the chimney of the fucking roof. I was playing champion at all. Yeah, I was planking. playing champion. No, you the killed it. You yeah. were not. I was playing. You champion couldn't fuck with me. I don't know. He a did chimney on top of a chimney, chimney is on top of a bench. But I beat him. No, you didn't. Planked on a bench. You did beat a chimney. I planked on my ex's car. Yeah, I mean that's cool. You can get arrested for that. What are you talking about? You can die on the chimney. I would die for that planking shit, bro. We all have to do that. <laughs> no, but I would have died for that well, planking whatever. shit. I've never seen Maul do anything to climb a roof and get on a I'm, chimney and lay across it. I am shocked Maul did the planking Maul thing. Maul used to be a lot of fun until he got money. Mm. What you mean? <laughs> Once he got fun. the Rolex, it was... <laughs> I'm still yeah. fun. Once he got the Rolex, I'm it, not was, planking on shit. it was what you know about going out head west. I'm still fun. I don't know what y'all talking about. I have. I was fun last night. Was no. was uh was someone's rent paid last night? Oh yes, yes. <laughs> a, little, a little more than that. Yeah, <laughs> a little more than that. Out. Paid the car note too. Yeah. Maul walked out with the stacks. Yeah, I'm going back. <laughs> See, I was going to get some stacks, but I was lazy. So then I see Maul with the stacks, and I was like, I can't have a stack it off with my man. <laughs> no. You just stand next. Yeah, to him. now it's just over. Put now. your arms in the air. Did he let you hold like some? Both huh? Did he let you hold some? Oh, I got hundred and six dollars from Maul. That's what's up, man. <laughs> that's that's friendship. Off, off the floor. What? Well, no. See what happened was the first, the first six. Maul was over there having too much fun, man. But I wasn't going to get no singles, so I walked over there and picked up six of the singles. Okay. Yeah, that was, scattered shower. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, and then just put it back on her. She had earned that money yeah. already. Yeah, it's hers. She was great. But you then I like, what? But after the six dollars, I wanted some more. <laughs> <laughs> you like the way things was going? Yeah. You saw how that oh. felt? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, 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 see what I was doing? I was walking around the whole club all no, night. No, but you was wild. The six dollars, I damn near caressed that bitch hair. <laughs> <laughs> She was great. She yeah, was what great. would she do for 10? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I had to hit more for hey, more, man. <laughs> I need another 100 of that. <laughs> I need at least 55 more hair rubs. Yeah, she was great. She was great. Uh, yeah, shout out to her, man. That was a good time last night. So there night. wasn't a rap video being shot there no, last no, no, night? No, no. Oh, that's no. a shame. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was by Maul? <laughs> by Maul. <laughs> no, no. Maul no, singles coming out soon? Featuring yeah, Rage? Yeah. Nah. Uh, just, uh, you do got a single. A lot of people, a lot of singles dropping. I can hear Maul in like the trappy strip club anthem too. I can see it. That's that's your that's I your lane. Oh, is that what you can see, Rory? Yeah, yeah. you got okay. the chain already. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I got it from here, Joe. Damn. 
<laughs> I'm not a podcast man. I'm a podcast man. <laughs> Let me handle my podcast. Damn. <laughs> That's right, Ma. <more. laughs> All right, I see what we on today. This is why I see. This is why I don't go out. I go out one night. Now you hey, like I got all the jokes. Let in me the world. handle my podcast. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> see, this is why I don't go out. I go out one night, and this what it turned into. Okay. Yeah. Y'all moving sloppy. Parks V, you got me. Everything. <laughs> Devon on the board. Nigga, watch me. <laughs> Parks V. You know v. the next question, y'all. <laughs> Parks V. He killed it. Parks. He killed it. <laughs> Parks V. <laughs> Joke on his rapper bag yeah. again. Where? You know the next <laughs> question, dog. Yo, where Key Bat? Yeah. Key <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bill. I'm never putting Key Bat yeah, in the song. Can't put you just fuck the whole verse, up. Oh, God, no. All right, come on. It's, there are things to talk about, even though there aren't too many things to talk about, but we got, we got to find something to talk about. Uh, what do y'all want to talk about? Where would, where, where would y'all like to start, huh? The live show last night. We just talked about the live show. Yeah, we for, talked for, about tw- the f- for 20 minutes. We yeah. talked about the activities. Fam, yeah. ain't listening in Africa, man. How much more time <laughs> you, how much more time you want to spend on the, the DC uh, night? I mean, Give it no, to him. We just gotta, no, we, I mean, we just wanted to recap the show a little bit. Little bit. I think we had a great show. I think uh, the DC crowd was dope. That was one of my favorite shows that we did. Yeah. Honestly, it was that, good. that theater was dope. Yeah, that it was, was good. A really, really. A lot of theater. women in there. A lot of women that like mall. Yeah, in there. It's sh- <laughs> mall's a sex symbol, man. Sh- he is. No, no, no it's God. official now. I'm not. Yeah. Like we but, was joking before. Yeah, it's official. Word. I'm it's cl- super official. I'm Clay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they said we don't shout out our women listeners enough, so we have to shout out. Yeah, <laughs> they, I didn't hear them say that at all. <laughs> no, they did. They did they say did that. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. definitely stood up and said, "Was like, yeah, I don't think y'all have women listeners." Yo, a lot of women, uh, yeah, a lot of women at the shows do say, "Yo, we don't get enough respect." I put him on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like dudes are listening because of us. Yeah. So shout out to the women. Yeah, yeah, we always like dap up the dude first in the meet and greet, and they're like, "No, nah, I don't. I don't even know y'all." Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's a nice change. Hey, who are you? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Used to it's just cool. be the dudes. Used to, yeah. Th- thanks, Maul, for getting the women crowd. Yeah, word yeah. up. We appreciate it. Respect, respect more, dude. More, 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 more brings our women demo. Yes. <laughs> Look at wow, you. He does. <laughs> I don't bring the women demo. <laughs> they said you were beautiful in person. Well, that wasn't a woman. And you did buy all the bottles. Right. You did buy all the bottles at Say too. Rory, relax. <laughs> I didn't buy all the bottles at Say. Oh, what you said? <laughs> Somebody said Maul was beautiful. It wasn't a woman that said it, though. <laughs> no, no. A homeboy said Maul looks much better in person. <laughs> That's not even what he said. I don't think it is what he said. He said, no, you're pretty in person. <laughs> <laughs> I said, look at Park. He, he said, said, you're pretty. I he thought said, it was a joke. I said, he said, I said you're what pretty you in say? person? Yeah, he said, he I said, thought oh, he said you're... prettier. No, nah, I think it was just pretty. And it was like, he put a, like, a, cer- no, a certain no, emphasis no, on, like, oh, you're he, pretty in person. Like, But he said it like he had already thought more was cute. And when you seen and him at the table, yeah. he was like, Ooh, "Oh wow!" Yeah. <laughs> Wait, and then he that said, "That hit wait, different in person." That him, was like, "Woo!" No, 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 no. That was that was your other oh, man. I'm mixing it up. That was I'm your man. That up. was your other man. Then he got the dolo pick with more. And yeah, and he was he wasn't trying to leave. Rory. He did <laughs> the dolo pick. With and then he asked more more where the rafties was. He did ask more where the rafties. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> asked me that, fellas. Oh, it was Molly said he wanted to know exactly. That's cool. He's shout to him, man. He was great. Fuck, fuck him. He walked walk by the three of us and liked them all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm but not, it was like a what like. You, what you want me to say? I'm shouting him out for what he don't like me. But it was like <laughs> it was like a like by. Like he said it and then left. I was like, yo, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> nah, he was trying to tell you. He was, you had a he was good playing jump hard shot. to get. He wanted to tell you you had a good jump shot. Nah. If you'd have shot a jump shot by him, <laughs> <laughs> guess what would have happened next? Even if I missed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Off the miss. Like, yo, you got it next time. <laughs> great form. Like three pass. Great form. Yeah, I love the follow through. <laughs> Y'all are sick. The bro. front pat. <laughs> <laughs> the front Yo. pat. <laughs> Yo. I'm calling a 20 second timeout. No, if I'm, a leaving. Nigga give me... <laughs> I'm leaving it. I'm leaving the park. Good game on the front. I'm out of there. Yo. Yo, I'm leaving I'm the leaving. park. I'm leaving. The game is over as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> nigga sh- pat you on the front. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's unacceptable. Enough of this. Yo, good shit. Enough. We, have a po- <laughs> we have a podcast to do, and music has been released. So... You Jim, want to music for once. Finally, yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy. Yo, listen, oh, I wasn't man. even gonna start with that. Nah, one. we have to. Uh, listen, everything else don't even matter at this point. El, El Capo. Capo, listen, man. I've been saying it for a while. Jim is the best out of Dipset, man. Uh, he's certainly the most consistent, I think, album-wise. Yeah, after the past, definitely the past 
seven to ten years, I think he's Jimmy the best. He's the best out of Dipset. Yeah, he's the best. Uh, but yeah, and not, not it, so many jokes of me bobbing my head anymore, are there? No, that shit, that <laughs> now you get what I was listening. It to. It all makes sense. <laughs> it, it, that, that that definitely makes sense now. The now slow motion it. dap on HD uh, lo-fi camera. Yeah, yeah. Man. It makes a lot of sense now. Absolutely not. Heat makers did the whole thing and absolutely smoked that shit. Yeah, it's the, it's the old, banging. it's the old formula, the old Dipset formula. That's all we ever want. The heat makers, that real New York sound. Um, you know, Jim talking that talk. Yo, Listen. I just love when they do the old formula. Like they go away from the old formula, and then we beg for the old formula back forever. And then, like when they actually do it again, <laughs> it's like when the greatest soul, soul that was doing the old formula do it again. Yeah, soul samples, drums. And Jim talking about going out of town will never not be dope to me. Yeah, him. word. Like, that can't go out of style. <laughs> yeah, impossible. And listening to the drum, Ross just made me want the Ross album more. He smoked yeah. that shit. Yeah. Yeah, picked the features extremely well. Fat Joe on the NYC shit is. Yeah. Currency killed his verse. Mm, mm, yeah. mm, mm, mm. We gonna get to all of that, y'all. <laughs> Jim Jones still got the best ad libs in hip hop. That's a fact. Word. Oh man! Listen, man. If you want to know what New York sound like, just get this oh, out. Oh man. man, I'm letting my New York bias out now. <laughs> yeah. I can't. I'm gonna be honest, man. I can't believe Jim put put together this great album like in 2019. I'm not surprised. His last album no, was really wasted dope. talent. No, I, I mean, he great. always has good albums, but it's like I'm not gonna lie. I'm the guy that's waiting for Jim to put out like a bullshit project. Mm. And I fuck. I love Jim, right. but I'm just waiting for it just to be like. I can't believe Jim Jones is making these dope ass out. Like yeah. Jim was like, yeah, that the muscle, and that, wait, the mascot. And stop the, right, stop right there, you know what I mean? stop right there, because that's a good spot to jump back into this conversation. The start of the, the start of Jim Jones mm -hmm. and the evolution quickly, because I don't want niggas to think we dick eating too much. But yeah, I want to start there. I just want at least eight bars of Fat Joe. At oh, least, yeah. eight, at least eight. Right. We know. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Joe got one of the best voices ever, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Joe, man. Jim Jones, for Jim Jones to start out as the hype man slash muscle guy slash runner slash engineer everything. Slash, <laughs> he was, slash he was definitely not the rapper. <laughs> slash the guy that did everything but rap. Mm. And... You could tell you could tell the, the 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 portion of Jim's career when he kept catching them as the guy who wasn't really a rapper, mm -hmm. where he was even fe even even when he was featured, just the sauce he brought to the song was a different sauce. But it was no you would never judge him like a rapper mm -hmm. because it's not what it was. Yeah. Right. Let me tell you something, and and I'm sure he still feels that way today. Like even when I speak to him, like. You can tell. Mm. That's Jim is still Jim. Yeah. He is a lot more comfortable today as a rapper. Oh yeah. Yeah, he got I mean, his He's been doing legs. it for so long now. That he got his rapper legs. Yeah. But much more legs than than just that. And when you listen to this album, right? It's it's a gift to be able to pick the right person to put on a song. Yeah. And he does that shit with the best of them. Yeah. It be niggas I don't even be thinking I'd be wanting to hear from. Right. Yeah. And they sound like magic when Jim puts the song together. Jim is like New York Ross. Yeah. 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 No, we talked about his ear for a while, I think, on this podcast. Mm -hmm. And I think it definitely showed in Wasted Talent and this one specifically. Yeah. Like these Heat Makers beats, there's not one that. Clapping it up for Heat Makers. <laughs> yeah. Clapping it up for Heat Makers. And if I really jog my memory, I probably owe y'all an apology. What? Because I'm positive that there was a point where I thought that it was just finito for them. Oh, no, nah, they always were consistent. They just weren't like we like that formula, the dipset heat makers formula. No, as good as no, they no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I thought they fell off for a minute and I heard beats that I could say, yeah, that ain't it. Hmm. This sound like and again, I apologize. I'm not saying that's what it was. Yeah. That was the case. I'm, well, I'm saying, just saying that sometimes it depends on who's on the tracks to make you determine that you know what i'm saying like this sound like he has they have a gym folder that no one can hear i'm sure yeah. they do 
Yeah. Like Justice League and Ross type shit. Like Joel, yeah, we're Joel those just aside for Jim. Joel and Fred didn't get to choose from these. That may be true. Well, I think a lot of this, I think, was them sitting with Jim in the studio specific, like, all right, we're going to make a joint project How? together. How? Jim lives in a fucking gym and in the rainstorm. <laughs> <laughs> he lives in the rainstorm. <laughs> Reporting live. Yeah, man. <laughs> and that's the other thing. I don't even see how he has the time to record all of this shit. Yeah. Mm. Work and hustling. And he just put together the Dipset album. He executive produced that. Yeah. That and, was you know, Jimmy is su- super big on his marketing and shit, like, I'm repeating myself again. Jimmy was one of the first rappers that directed, engineered, did the marketing plan, did the artwork, then yeah. just rapped. <laughs> yeah. Picking every beat. Hustling. Like, yeah. yeah. Hustling, man. So I mean, he come from that. He come from, you know, hustler's cloth. Yeah. You know, the streets. And he, 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 you put a hustler in the room and he going to figure it out. And yeah, that's what 100%. Jim did. Jim just, he figured this shit out, man. And right. I'm just happy to see it. And I hope that people, you know, give him his respect and, and give him his flowers because this uh, this album right here is is one of the the dopest albums I've heard. In I movie. needed it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'll say that I don't really care how other people may feel about it. I needed it. Yeah, yeah. I needed this bop. This is a rapper's at this the right time album, yeah. too. This is a rapper's album. I think all rappers are gonna appreciate. Oh wait, worry what I told him now. Hold up. <laughs> You oh, the, you were asleep. You got the bug back? You No, you were asleep. <laughs> you you, Maul was asleep. You got the bug? He let yeah. one of them beats rock at the end. It might have been New York. Yeah. He might have let Joe, this. Joe had about four bars. Ah, I think. Five. And, and two more in my head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had a hard six. I was yeah. like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You still got it. Yeah. No, that was an exciting feeling to know that that was a nice six. But you that still sound, got it a little bit. Yeah. That sound gives you that. Yeah. It's but does. I'm just about I to say, rap the when feeling that shit, you and I don't get rap. when a beat comes on to make you do that, it's almost like when the lane opened for the dunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's what I, I mean, I've yeah. never dunked with the lane open, of course. But. Looking at that, you say, I wonder how that feels to be up there. Yeah. I wonder how I know he's going to jump too, but guess what? This is going down. Like, yeah. that's yeah. a moment. Yeah. That's how it feels to me when the beat is left rocking and now it's making you say words. Right. Yeah. right. And you don't even yeah. have a word. It's like, all right, well, I'm putting 72 on this. Word. <laughs> right. You ain't even got no content I'm sitting in the van. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no content. You ain't got nothing to say at all. Right. Nah, um, but what I did like about this album too, we talked about. 444 and life is good and just hip hop aging like right. seeing people from the last generation making new albums right and I love that Jim's content is exactly what Jim's content is yeah and it still sounds great yeah. like it doesn't sound like he's chasing yesteryear doesn't sound like he's chasing this shit yeah he didn't have to get on the specific yo I'm mad mature business type talk like it's Jim being Jim and it still sounds great and hip hop can still age that way I feel like they didn't overthink it speaking exactly. of wait let me just jump in speaking of mature Rory said mature that was another observation I had on this album the fab feature mm. said to me oh those guys are mature mm-hmm. I was really happy to see that for a long time I always wanted to hear fab and Jim rap together that's on a the song. first time they ever did a song yep Is wow it? Look it up. Google it. I don't know. Wow. Because I say some shit and then they hang me. Right. Of course. But what I'm saying is, as a fellow New Yorker, I am aware of some things. Right. That's it. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to say no more. I'm aware of enough to know it wasn't going to be a song between them two for for a second. Okay. So to see that there. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, talk about maturity. Old niggas. I love it. And that's kind of where you want to hear Fab, too. You know what I'm saying? You want to hear him on these type of beats. Yep. You know what I mean? Exactly. And, 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 And when the Fab verse came on. I said, well, when it went off, I said, of course he was going to do that. Yeah. He smoked that. Right? Mm-hmm. Of course you're going to do that on the gym song with the New York beat. with the. Right. That's New York. Half this whole shit is New York. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fred smoked his verse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm glad they didn't try to sneak in like a, a, a South feeling beat. Like they didn't try to reach on nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like it all sounds like it's supposed to sound to me. No. Anyway. Um, Shout out to single man, producer Paul, projects, man. man. Uh, up, man. fucking Benny and Conway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Benny killed that <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Benny was in a different zone on that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, after listening to that shit, I went and listened to um Tanner talk. I had to go, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Still one of my favorite albums in the last couple of years. Yeah, I had, to, I had to put the Tanner talk on. Yeah. Fred Fred did his thing. Fred yeah, Fred got off. Yeah. He got off. Fred always sounds good on features, man. And Currency, I, I've been a vocal, like, Currency's just not my shit. I totally get why people love him. Uh-huh. He... Won me over on that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah. Currency. Yeah. I always like Currency's music, man. He makes good music. He's not great, really something I want to listen to all the time. 
Yeah, just because it's like it's, it's, it's pothead. Yeah, shit, it's, like, it's, it's more of a vibe. He yeah. sounded good on that shit too. Yeah, he killed it. I remember he you. Killed. I heard you asking like, "Who's that?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wasn't used to that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That bounce on that beat. But yeah. again, that's what I'm saying. That those beats make the rappers that don't even do that do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hold up, like I can't. Like this is a whole different sound, energy. Like this is this is New York. So even if you're from the South or West Coast, you get on beats like that. Your your whole cadence changes. Yeah, it has to. It has to. Do you think? Uh, and I don't want to leave this gym shit just yet, but I want to ask you because uh, that's a good point. And when you said that, it made me think of. Well, I wonder if there was a big, big act like like a star and started rapping on some of that type of shit. Uh, would it work today? Like, what do you mean? With that sound? Yeah, I absolutely. Think it, I think it <coughs> absolutely. Would. I think there are stars that rap on New Yorkish type beats. Give me an example. J. Cole, sample bass, boom bap shit for the most part. Not always, but for the most part. Mm-hmm. Uh, Not the last album or two, but I never do you think uh, no? intro to nothing was the same? Was it was a little yeah. New York O four ish? Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. I think that was. Yeah, Drake, Drake, with Drake. Drake. I mean he had was Prima on his last Tus- album. Tuscan leather. Tuscan leather, yeah. Tuscan leather. That had, had yeah. a little tiny heat makers influence mm-hmm. in there. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. He killed man. Yeah, so I wanna try to uh, um I wanna try to I wanna try to respectfully have the Jim and Cam conversation without being divisive because they've just been great recently. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I, I don't I don't wanna uh contribute to any of that. Mm-hmm. But that's what hip hop does. Right. So yeah. <clears throat> we have to at least have the conversation. And Parks and I were and Rory were attempting to have it yesterday. I think that Jim has more uh more albums that are good. Not good. That's not what I'm saying. I think Cam has the best album between the two of them. I think Jim has more good albums or great albums. of the Whatever. best albums. I see what you're saying yeah. between yeah. them. His, yeah. it's, his discography pro- is more consistent. <clears throat> Cam has the classic. Higher Cam highs, has like, come yes, home. Yeah. Come home with he me. Has, to me, is the best between the two of them. Period. That's a yeah. debatable. I'm just saying me. I mm-hmm. think me too. Yeah, I mean, me shit. I think that's, yeah. The I first dip set album was, might be my favorite of the whole. I'm not counting. Well, yeah, I'm not. I'm not counting. I know, I'm, I'm not counting. Yeah, yeah, You're cheating. I, whatever. <laughs> um, I, Purple Haze, of course, but Come Home with Me is the one for me when it comes yeah, to Cam. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, but all, Jimmy's decided. All of Jim's <laughs> did that for me. I thought not Come Home with Me, but right, not right. far from it. Right. I thought Hustler's poem was my favorite Jim joint, mm. but I, this might be my favorite Jim out. This, yeah. this is my favorite Jim out. Yeah, Hustler's poem was, you know, until. Wednesday <laughs> it was my favorite. Hustler's gym. poem was mine, and then his last album might have been my second. I love yeah, his last album. My second yeah. favorite mm-hmm. uh, yeah. album from mm-hmm. him, and uh, the Diary of Summer shit. I love too. Yeah. Me too. Me I've too. always liked every one of his albums. Honestly, he makes good music. Yeah, he does. He does. And it's 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 funny that we're talking about Jim Jones like this. I know, right? Like, <laughs> if you're from Harlem and you know Jim, is like, yo, Jim is like really being talked about in hip hop like this. Like, all of as our a rapper. fans are gonna be like, yo, what the fuck? Well, yeah. well, it's, it's funny you mentioned that too, because if you think about all the Harlem legends, like Jim has outlasted everyone. Oh, uh, like yeah. As yeah. far as how many albums he's put out, how long he's been in the game. Jimmy's like, a Harlem <laughs> legend. No, I'm yeah. saying for like he's the typical like Mace, like, Mace, yeah, like you know, like, the typical ones you would throw out there. Yeah. 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 Musically. Yeah. Musically. Yeah. I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. And that's why to me, I, again. And no, it's, it's just funny. I'm sorry to cut you. It's just funny <laughs> because he was not the rapper, like to it, your point. Exactly. <laughs> right. That's why to me, this is still crazy. Like, yeah, he might have had the least is... raw talent, you know, yeah. as far as like rapping. Mm-hmm. Like, all those guys were super rappers. Mm-hmm. And Mace, Cam, Loom, and Black Rob, but, but like that's, everyone that's in probably Harlem. part of the reason, because while Rory said that, I was just sitting there asking myself, damn, to even, to even uh, have the passion to want to make your best album in year. Mm hmm. 19 or 20 yeah, whatever or it whatever it is yeah. whatever it is yeah. he probably still has that because <clears throat> of uh everything on the front end that y'all are saying not mm-hmm. being a rapper not yeah. having the immense skill set to come in with right. not being uh heralded right so yeah it's, it gets later greater when you just work for it it's, yeah. it's yeah. not it's not necessarily uh uh it's acquired uh, acquired then they say kanye learned how to rap too like Jim learned how to rap, Kanye learned how yeah. to rap. There's a few yeah. niggas that learned how to rap, right? And Jim just sound like he's still learning and still going, yeah, and getting better, yeah, yeah. Fifty two up there to like your hustling point more. Mm-hmm. Fifth, I put in that category too. That was not like the rapper, a born rapper. rapper. He was yeah. like, all right, I got to make some money. This 52. seems yeah. to be the way, and like taught himself how to rap, right? 
I think and, game and is you one can, of them too. You, game two. You, yeah. you can game. really just hear them getting better. I think Beams might be one of them. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. That's that's, 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 that's an interesting beans. conversation. Some of these people that we're naming to right. be on that list. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I know right now, man, that that Jim Howe. Yeah, I round remember. round of applause for Jim, man. It's the right time of year too. Dipset always dropped hot summer. albums in the summertime. Summer. Oh, this yeah. is gonna like I used to, every night, summer was a Dipset or a Cam or something project since like ninety nine or whatever when Cam first dropped. Yeah. I was debating on if I was gonna buy a car. <laughs> this album, I can't not listen to this in a car in the mm, summertime. Yeah, you this, this was my deciding factor. You got to bang this in the, in the yeah. My, the speakers in my girl's car might not get it done. <laughs> yeah, time to upgrade. It <laughs> oh, this shit right here is crazy. Oh, the main over. Yo, ain't y'all glad we got we got a little bit of money when this this album is out? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <this> is <laughs> <laughs> like he really painted a, this shit is like a a, a score, yeah. yeah. For 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 a mov, for a movie, right? Woo! Oh, you heard that? Yeah. <laughs> the way that shit dropped. The way that shit dropped off. That, the bass came yeah, in. That eight away hit. Yeah. Eight away and the bongos never uh, fail. Especially boy. in the summer with a sundress. <laughs> I want to get. I want to go get a piragua right now. <laughs> pineapple. Extra pineapple. Uh, yeah. This this sounds like Nutcrackers in Riverbank Park. Yeah, this this hunt sixteenth on the east side. This is hunt sixteenth and and Lex. Uh, mm. I wish y'all shut up. Let me just get eight. <laughs> Let me just hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this on this hook? This nigga came right in, gave me that red cafe uh, feel. I love Trav. It. I think it's Trav, right? I thought Trav should have had a verse on here somewhere. Oh, Trav Trav did really well on the hooks on Wasted Talent too. Yeah, shout out to Trav. Trav is good at hooks. Yeah. Trav has been good for a long time, actually. Yeah, he's got a good voice for it. He can do hey. a lot of different shit. Uh-oh. All right. Get up. Hey. Hey, and he spit oh, no, this verse like he heard some of them rumors. No, this is, <laughs> this is rain on it. My, my apologies. Trav's on two other hooks. Okay. <laughs> they killed. He yeah. make us killed, yeah. man. They yeah. did. They did. They did. You gotta give it up. Yeah, yeah. talking that shit. This just sound like blue magic. Yeah. <laughs> Word. This just sound like Jim's American Gangster, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's a really good uh, comparison. That's a great comparison. Cam is Cam man still. Hold up. <laughs> oh man, no, 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 enough, enough of this, enough of this. Because I'm, I'm gonna get in the booth. We in the booth. <laughs> we in the booth. <laughs> we in the booth. And I'm gonna yell. <laughs> Man, pull up the stems. Wait till I get home on the bigs. <laughs> on the bigs? Oh, yeah, that's that why whole living room about to break. Yeah. I was fucking tight in that sprinter when one little speaker oh, worked all the way down. Yeah. That's how I knew it was fire because it was fire out the one speaker in the sprinter. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> you, it see, was. I, you see, I had the, the big headphones on on the plane. <laughs> I pulled the big headphones out the, the book bag. Bro, I couldn't studio joints. Uh, yeah. nah, couldn't, nah, couldn't nah, do nah, the AirPods, nah, little nah, plastic nah, joints. Nah, 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 nah. You had to get that feeling back. Yeah, yeah. 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 Had to get the cushion around the ears. Oh man! So did you have the big headphones out to hear our Cardi press? No, I didn't hear that yet. Uh, do we have a little bit of it here that we could play? We do. We do. All right, good. I'm gonna talk while the amazing Rory Mc. <laughs> Mick, just Mick, just Mick. Yeah, that's that's racist. That yeah, is racist. especially especially in the city. <laughs> yeah, we're. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, don't it. say that I'm loud. Not, I'm not. Turn down the speakers in there. <laughs> oh, I need the big headphones. <laughs> you gonna get your bag on this one? Hit the blue face again. No, no. <laughs> I mean, you don't. Turn it back up. Turn it up right there. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know what time it is. <laughs> yeah. 
I know it's what time, time it is. Summer hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what time it is. Mm. This is definitely my favorite of the uh, new stuff that she's put out. Me too. That's that's that's. that's, 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 that's I didn't love any of the other ones, so you know, it wasn't. The what did she put out? Like, the Money record and the uh, Bruno record. Which I, Bru- I like. What, what was the Bruno record? record? Um, I oh yeah, it, it oh, just yeah. wasn't it. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they, oh yeah, they tried it, but it worked. Yeah. It oh, worked. Of course yeah, it worked. Yeah. It's fucking Cardi and Bruno. It has yeah. to work because yeah. it's them two big, big business. I that got it. That sounds good, though. I like this, that one. This, that's going to go. This is, this is playtime is over, kid. That beat is yeah. real aggressive. Yeah. This, this is, is that Partisan? Is that his pen? Oh, my oh God. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, yeah. I don't, I'm sure. Don't get like me to misquoting. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not. The fans I'm just saying this, hate no, no, when I misquote. I'm just saying it sounds like like I've heard enough of his joints. It sounds like. It, to some degree, he's involved in all the writing, so yeah, I'm sure yeah, I, would, I wouldn't be shocked. That. I'll put it that way. Oh, it sounds like him though. Like, yeah. if you ever listen, he's to a great shit, fucking yeah, yeah. writer. He's like, up. No, I, lo- I I told him I was like, "Yo, fam, I'm looking forward to your shit." Yeah, like I like him a lot. Yeah, he's really but that record right there is that record is hard. The first thing I heard was when he did the uh, well, he I guess he had the original Nicki beat for I forgot what song it was off her last album. He had a song to it. He put out after Nicki dropped, and that okay. shit was hard. <laughs> no, he's dope. No, I kid can can write. Yeah, yeah. I, thought, kid, I thought his song with Cardi should have been even bigger. Oh yeah, that was one. I didn't. I don't know how that bigger. didn't go. Yeah, like crazy. They probably didn't that put no money behind it. Nonstop on it. Where's he on Atlantic? I'm 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 sure he's affiliated. Uh, yeah, with yeah. I don't know. Okay. I don't really know his exact label. I feel situation. like the only situation is that whoever had that record did not put enough into it. Yeah, this, that was a good record. Cardi yeah. says that she recorded this record while she was pregnant. Mm. Um, Cardi, uh, when she did the snippet for this song, it was one of them shits where I was like, oh, that's hard. Like, when it's hard off the snippet, mm. everybody can't get it hard off the snippet. Was this the one that she was in the studio? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, waving her hands around. I was. I, I felt like... Like, if I was a bitch and I want to smoke with her, I would change my mind at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> like, it just looked like I didn't want any drama. Nah, this this one will work at the parties because chicks love to be pressed about not being pressed right. about chicks being pressed <laughs> about them. This is going to go. Okay. I, see, song, I see Instagram captions nonstop this summer. Yeah. This song is really dope, too, if you know about some of the behind-the-scenes shit. Or not even behind-the-scenes, like, just the, some of the stories attached to those two chicks that were suing Cardi for however much money from the strip club incident, whatever that was. It's got some backstory to yeah, it. Yeah, when you when you listen to this and Cardi Cardi addresses the shit, man. Like people people knock her for not writing her shit or, or some shit, but I like how she addresses whatever there is to address the next time you hear her, sort of like Hove did his entire career. He never said nothing, but on the next song, I'm addressing some shit. And right. it's normally whatever y'all think is fresh is whack. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what Hove did. Yeah. She yeah. just get right to the the, the gossip, the drama. <laughs> what you said about my man? My pussy is good. <laughs> what they saying on the shade room? All of it's a lie. Fashion over deal. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> right. That's the verse. And it's hard. <laughs> and, and I like it, it a lot. And it's hard. The, but but y'all don't know this how. And I know the I know the the casual listener and the just just the off standoff consum, standoffish consumer probably won't notice this. See, because I call Cardi like a superstar, megastar on this podcast a lot, just based off her price, uh, based off her impact, based off her audience. Her success, yeah. She's a superstar. And I get flack for that uh, sometimes when I say that. But if you look at her, every every time she comes out, she is handled that way. She's Mm -hmm. handled like a superstar. The rollout is like a superstar. This rollout has been perfect. She's a superstar. You can't really deny it. Like, how would you? I understand that people want to, like, you know, oh, she's a stripper. You know, she comes from the love and hip hop background, so she can't be a superstar. But give it up, man. She's like, she has the numbers to prove that she is, in fact, a superstar. I clicked on her her, on her Insta Live, and I never click on anybody's Insta Live because I don't care what you're Insta or living about. (laughs) But I clicked on hers just because I wanted to to take a gander at the number at the top. Yeah. That's all. 30,000? Yeah, right. I was going to say, yeah, don't, right. don't disrespect the her. The fuck is Damn. wrong with you disrespecting <laughs> the queen? 70,000. Light. On a light car ride, just yeah. saying, hey, new song out. Right. And you Cop probably, it. Probably clicked it right at the beginning, too. Huh? Everyone was just getting in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it wasn't even hot yeah. yet. That shit probably got up to about 250. <laughs> yeah. Sheesh. Uh, I will say, I kind of wish Nicki and, and Cardi weren't beefing right now, because Nicki could find a pocket for a remix on that record. Hey, hey. Nikki Nick- would sound great on that if she finds that Nikki pocket that we like. Right. Nikki would kill this. Nikki would smoke yeah. that shit. But I always say that Nikki and Cardi would sound great together all the time. It's really it's been a real travesty that they got whatever they Dog, got. The they re- would sound remix, great on everything. A remix yeah. with her we, on this shit. We never got Foxy and Kim. Or we never nah. got uh man people girl tandems we just never got. 
Yeah. Yeah. Nikki killed that Wobble Wobble shit, by the way. She did. I, I meant to say that when it came out, but we never <laughs> talked about Wobble Wobble, so. Mm. And, and I wasn't mad. And I don't want to objectify, but she looked really, really good in the video, too. You're objectifying You're objectifying right, right now. Just calling her beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's very Her talent level you. and rap ability on the song is equally as good. <laughs> Way to clean it up, Roar. Yeah. No, man, no, that man's still going to shoot Roar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. Don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't call nobody girl beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas get shot over fucking niggas fact. girls. I'm not even talking about you and, and this nigga shit no more. No, uh, niggas get shot over fucking niggas girls. I just wish this Cardi <laughs> yeah, record would have... Uh, for centuries. I wish this Cardi record would have came out last night before I went to the stadium. I would have loved to see that young lady dance to that record. <laughs> and you had enough money to request a song. Yeah. <laughs> just Fair a random thought That could have been Y'all's song too like You would have loved started. To see that young lady Dance to folk music Yeah <laughs> It really didn't matter Joe. You would have right. loved to She could have danced To an acapella <laughs> Yeah it didn't matter you, Somebody coming up there With a banjo and, Yeah I would have been like yes Yo you ever catch yourself You ever catch yourself uh, In the groove getting, getting the lap dances But you so in the groove That you ain't even Noticed the song Went off and she kept moving <laughs> you're like Oh shit We acapella grinding <laughs> <laughs> We acapella That's grinding oh, shit. Now you gotta tap on the ass <laughs> Nigga staring at you taking pictures now move bitch <laughs> <laughs> ain't no music on <laughs> everyone can hear us <laughs> yeah word and I'm moaning <laughs> you gotta hit him with a little moan on the dance Mm-mm. yo what's your lap dance game in that ear what's your hand what's your what's your hand game what's your posture game what's your what's your rhythm and y'all know what I'm talking about is men uh, sh- try, shoulders I, back I definitely try, have a good shoulders back shoulders. <laughs> you wanna have a good posture definitely have a great posture so arm wrestle though <laughs> shoulders back I try to give them I'm watching TV posture I want three minutes in her to turn around and say oh you're not into this yeah. mm. <laughs> well, too cool I definitely go you with try the to too play cool hard to get? Yeah, 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 too cool yeah. I'm too cool for yeah, that that's me that's me yeah I'm too cool yeah but I'm chilling I'm chilling too she turned around Say, oh, what, you're not into this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Watch yeah. me get into well, it. That's when I pull my pants down. <laughs> Yo, they are is never going to let you back in Starlet's when you pull your... word. What's wrong with him? That's when I pull Yo, my pants more, down. Well, stop asking people what's wrong with me. <laughs> that's when I pull what's my pants down. What's wrong with him? And that's when security taps on your shoulder and <laughs> say, Yo, your get pants out. at your ankles in the strip club. Yeah, I might ask what's wrong with you. <laughs> Joe getting kicked no, out the strip club no. with his no. pants down. Because <laughs> they wouldn't let him pull him up. They didn't want to for him to walk out. Yeah, like, get out. Hang with Walk out of there. Out. Yeah, get out. <laughs> Pulling your pants. That wasn't down. the part for us to just go on a, on a hypothetical limb about Joe oh, getting my bad. kicked out the club with his pants around his ankles. <laughs> my bad, bro. <laughs> And that would never happen, by the way. <laughs> no, I, I hope not. That's not happening. Yeah, no, I hope not. You know what I mean? Well, never mind. <laughs> I don't, don't want to remember. I don't even know what you're talking about, but I don't want to remember. <laughs> How they kicked me out of the club and she was wild. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when that happens. Yo, man. That'd be the worst. That's when you get bu- kicked out of spot because oh, the chick just, is wild. I just got in having a blast. My niggas is here dapping them up. Yeah. Yo, where you at? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm right here. Yeah. <laughs> where you at? Yeah. Club this big. <laughs> You see where I'm at. Yeah. I'm sitting right here. They put both our asses right out. Yeah. Now we both looking stupid walking up the block. Get out. <laughs> yeah. Both of y'all. That was some bullshit. Anyway, yeah. uh, Cardi, Press, uh, so- Song of the Summer Candidate, early. Give me. I mean, we'll uh, see. We'll see. No, no, Parks, this is the part where I want you to use foresight. Okay. I don't want to see. Yes. Yes. No, I don't think it's going to un- uh, topple uh, Country Road, Old Tyler Road. Yo, that can, how can that be song in the summer it's, and that song didn't come out in the summer? That's what I'm saying. It was too uh, early. It happens all the time. That's true, too. Yeah. But I think that like was the way Meek too and, early. The Meek and Drake yeah. shit is still going, but I can't count it as song yeah. in the summer because it came year, out like, so long ago. Yeah. But it's still moving. Yeah. I have this yes as a candidate for it could be. in the summer. Oh, and it, yeah. I, I mean, think it will be. definitely going to make it a candidate. That Khaled loyal shit is creeping up, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one's good. Yeah. I know, I know there's a few people that said... But that's what we said, that Khaled don't have no type of single nowhere No, no, we, we said that was our one of our favorite joints on the album, the Meek, J Balvin joint. Yeah, that, that one uh, is creeping. It's, it's come on a few times when we were out, and it made me stand up. No, that shit goes. When I was <laughs> yeah. driving around... Uh, don't you, you, feel, like, you didn't feel loyal? Don't you feel, don't, don't you feel <laughs> awkward when the song make you stand up? They like no one else stand up with you. Yeah. Everyone's still sitting on the couch. Right. Then you gotta just, shit. Yeah. Then you, yeah. Then you gotta just start checking your phone. <laughs> Joe, Joe pointing at the DJ. Yeah. Just start checking your phone. If nobody else stand up with you, just check your yeah, phone. Yeah. Just dust off your jeans. Oh, a y'all about to use the bathroom. Wait, wait. You know what's funny? Oh man, this is why I shouldn't have a podcast because I'll be sharing too much shit. So I stood up. I'm the only nigga standing up. But that's cool. Now I get into my rapper bag. The hook, come on. Rapper hands. I'm singing the words. Then mid mid words, I remember. Oh shit. 
I'm single. I look stupid as hell. <laughs> <laughs> they, they think I'm rapping. They're like, it looks nuts. You going through yeah. something? Yeah, it looks nuts. Yeah. You stay. You stay. <laughs> Yo, why? Oh, Yo, why? Yeah. Like yeah. aggressive. Because they got to put their aggressive sauce on it. Yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Mad aggressive to you, too loyal. I think you too loyal. Yeah, yeah man. Sound like ja Rule I was about to say, why sound like Ja on that shit? Because I was Ja before Ja. Yeah. Oh, my fault. I was Ja before Ja. Well, ja, ja was ja. out before you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that's funny. Like, like, wait, okay. Like four or five years before. Yeah. <laughs> maybe more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. Five parts. It was five. Yeah, no, he was on that Mike Geronimo shit in like 96. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, that don't count. I mean, he was out. His first album was like, was like 98, 99. He was out. He was out. He was, he was 14. Out. He was out. He was out. <laughs> he had a song whatever. out. All right, whatever. He was on the it was song. out. Was he growling? Uh, uh, there's a little growling. Uh, X was growling. A little meow meow. Wasn't a little He was a puppy. Mike yeah, it was Geronimo. a little meow meow. Yeah. Shout out to Mike Geronimo, man. Queens niggas run you niggas. Ask Russell Simmons. <laughs> Nobody still has ever asked Russell that. <laughs> Nobody has <laughs> asked Russell. No, I, no, no, I told he, you to ask yeah. him. You, you were supposed nigga. to ask him. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> but nobody yeah, was talking still, to you. Yeah, no, no. Nas, Nas told all of us to ask <laughs> Russell Simmons. No, nah, but he told he told you to. Me? Okay. Yeah, more specifically. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. You don't think I got to ask Russ. You ain't get to him? I got to ask Russ. Come on, he knew you was down with the Where is Russell Simmons? Can we talk about that? Bali. Not yet. Oh. He's in Miley. He's still? Not okay. Still? Yeah. So doing headstands and shit? Huh? Doing headstands in the morning? I'm sure he's doing yoga. Oh, for sure. Come on. And, and he's, Bali? He's doing a few You have to goats do, out there? You have to do. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. yoga. You have hey, to Russ, do Russ only posts all that yoga shit in the morning. Show us what the nighttime in Bali <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Russ. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we, we love the morning. Yeah, no, we, we got the morning routine. Yeah, we, yeah, 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 we so get it. The different downward yeah. dog. When the sun time. go down, though, like, right. I want to see that nah, downward dog. What you doing at lunch? <laughs> yeah. The downward Yeah, let me see that downward dog. At night, though. At night. At night, Russ. Show us the downward dog at night. Fam, you already know what. What? Let's just use our imagination for a minute. Some of the some of the executives that helped start music, you know how they some party. Some of the nastiest. You know how they, you heathens. know how they party. Yeah. Have you ever partied with some of them? You know how they party. Oh, but I, we caught them when they were already like millionaires. So it's a different party. Catch them when they was on a on a come up though. Listen, fam, they was doing some sick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick <laughs> shit. Listen, when I came in this game and some of them millionaire executive niggas, you know, when you when you come in new and, and, and you hot, they gotta they gotta show it to you. Mm-hmm. They, gotta oh, show, yeah, they yeah. gotta show you what's going on. Mm-hmm. Fair some of that shit. I was, I was like, whoa. <laughs> uh, Are you giving it up this what way? What is happening here? Yeah, life. <laughs> Why is she fucking my dick in the pool? <laughs> <laughs> and whose pool is this? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> yeah. Why, God. Why damn. am I covered in cocaine? I don't do cocaine. <laughs> at all, but this night I will. Because <laughs> you have to do it. Yeah. You do. You peer, do. Peer pressure. You have yeah. to do it. You have to do it. It's probably good cocaine in that yeah. circle. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, that's the problem, too. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem, too. It was 2000. You go to somebody else and start start up, uh, uh, think y'all got the same vices in there. You go grab the Pino. <laughs> you grab the Pino, just start chugging it back like you do in your house, but that person's rich, so the Pino f- affects you differently. <laughs> <laughs> the Pino is coke. I don't want to. Yo. Yes. <laughs> yo, I don't want to. I don't want to name drop, but I will. When we went for New Year's Eve to Puff Crib and he gave us that that wine, it, it's, don't. Yeah. Duh, that shit hit. It's a mistake. I think I was hallucinating. It's a mistake. <laughs> don't take. I was the drinking puff it like wine. I was drinking it like barefoot. Like it was the shit we get. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't kung like fu it was girl. No, it, wasn't. <laughs> it, it wasn't kung fu girl at all. Just have two. Yeah, I was done. You got barefoot afterwards? Uh, I might have got ass naked when everyone was in suits and jumped in the pool. That sounds, sounds like a normal night of puffs. I, I, need, I need that, you know. Yo, anybody get ass naked jump in the pool, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one hesitates? Huh? All right. All right, word. <laughs> Fine, just me. Nah, them execs party different. In like 2010, I was like, where the fuck did y'all get quaaludes? I thought these were extinct. Nah, <laughs> they saved them. them all. They saved them. Yeah. <laughs> The ludes. They, they had them shits right in the freezer for the last 50 years. <laughs> well, Would y'all do a quaalude if, if it came back? Yeah. Nope. Uh, I'm cool. Tell the truth. I'll do a half. Tell the truth. No. I'll tell the truth. No. I'll do a little half. No. Parks is being honest. No. I am. I'm being honest. No. We'll walk it up slow. Well, you. I would give it to you. No. <laughs> you would drug him? <laughs> yes. I'm not fucking with you that. You put it in the salmon? You wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> in my salmon? <laughs> That's a sick place to put a fucking quaalude glazed salmon today. <laughs> the fuck is that? I, I know it gets you. I've seen you eat salmon. Oh, you know that's my weakness. Yes. <laughs> Just lay you some know, salmon out. I'll walk right through it. You know that's my weakness. 
<laughs> just lay some salmon out. I'll walk right there. I don't want to hear none of your weaknesses. I don't want to hear no more of your The only say strimps okay, on this bad. podcast. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, you would do You would do one, Rory? Yeah, I said yes like three times. Without, <laughs> hesita- without hesitation. You can't wait to. Oh, Rory's like, I'm, I'm mad they don't Where exist. <laughs> I would do it. Yeah, what up? I would do it. The lewds. <laughs> don't do drugs, kids. Because I ain't gonna lie. I mean, Watching Wolf of Wall Street, I was like, come on, man. I could park that. <laughs> 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 that scene looked lit, honestly. <laughs> Everything nah, about that like looked like a great time. Yeah. <laughs> I have crawled up my stairs the way he crawled up them stairs. Yeah, yeah, it was five steps. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> it might have been two or three. I'm like, wait, what? Fam, it'd be a rough night sometimes. <laughs> yeah. You got to get it in. But I'd have parked that car. <laughs> oh, he did too. That was the only part that made me mad. The car? That and his, his pull-off. Like when he drove off, like oh, all right, the Joe, Joe, you would, you would slam right into your gate. <laughs> you wouldn't even open the shit. I've slammed into a few things before. I believe it. And not I on have. the pill. <laughs> not not on Quaaludes. Yeah, not on Quaaludes. Mad sober. Not on that. Mom, was you with me when we was in Totowa and I was leaving the bank and I crashed into yes. some white lady on pills and then she called the cops and then I got out and ran. No, you didn't. You didn't. No, you, 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 Why does what? every story with you two end up with you running no. and the police? <laughs> Yo, Toto didn't like us. Yo, nah, oh. they did. They didn't like us. And your gameplay was always just a run yeah. old on foot. No, yo, so Joe, what happened you was you know they have your license plate. <laughs> Joe, Joe and was they know who you are, like your face. So? They have your face. So? Joe was texting. So what? <laughs> I think Joe was on the phone or something, and the lady like stopped short, like at a red light or like a legal stop. It was she. She, she stopped. Short. She didn't have okay. to stop short. She stopped gotcha. really short. She stopped right. short. So Joe, you no, know, he like bumped into the back. Had to get teed off. Crazy. It was nothing crazy. Mm. Just light little bump. light little tap. Okay. She got out, of course, like and, the white know. lady from the like the courtroom. Yeah. And she, <laughs> my bed. Oh my Why God. I oughter? My yeah. neck. So I'm what happened? I have your ass, nigga. <laughs> so what? <laughs> so what happened was, um, <laughs> Joe. You know, he out. He talking to her, whatever. So she calling the cops. So I'm like, my Joe, you got to bounce. <laughs> <laughs> this is your legal advice? Yeah, yeah, yes. Like, you know, like, laws kind that's, of that's that's great advice, right. No, because Joe had warrants at that time. I'm oh, like, okay. fam, yeah. you know how, you know we in Totowa, you know what they're they, they they gonna take you down the block. Yeah, you know what So I'm like, just is. bounce. So <laughs> Joe like word, I'm like, yeah, bounce, just go. <laughs> so then he jumps like he he started running down the block, but it was a pizza delivery dude driving that recognized him. <laughs> So he's like, yo, come on, like, like get in. So oh, he got, shit. He got, the pizza, he got the pizza delivery call with the kid. <laughs> with the Domino's kid. Yeah, and, and the Domino's nigga drove him to the crib. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, that was a good but guy. But they, 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 like, I think, like, maybe two weeks later, the cop knew everything. He was like, oh, yeah, yeah, man, like, you had that little fender bender, like, we were looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, we, like, saw, we saw your abandoned car. Yeah, like, no, nah, no, nah, I drove nah, off. Drove I off. drove the truck. He drove he took off. the rap. Nah, they didn't. They didn't. No, come. Money no, we left, we left the white lady standing. Yeah, there. Left there. <laughs> Looking stupid in front of we Chase. Just peeled off on her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We out. Take man. care of that little fender bender. Nothing crazy. Yeah, yeah, and we had fine. somewhere to be. Yeah, we don't know. That's like a show or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> that was City. fun. Walked her. That was fun. You know what I mean? Little fender bender. Get out of there. Yo, I, 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 I'm bender. telling you, I'm gonna start a series, and I'm gonna say it so y'all can steal it. Okay. I'm gonna start a series behind the scenes, full access. Full access. That sounds like a porn site. To what goes on at some of these three three thousand dollar bookings, five thousand dollar bookings. I like it. Seven thousand dollar bookings. Two bottles. All in. Bookings. All, all in. All, all in is my favorite. All in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, travel Yo. party of a million. Yeah. Yo, we'll give you three thousand dollars, but you got to fly to Miami. Right. <laughs> get three hotels. Yeah. What's your security? But don't worry, we'll give you a bottle. Yeah, there'll be ice. Yeah, you went to Miami for a bottle. I want to start. I want to start <laughs> that series. It's some war stories in some of these three and five thousand dollar gigs. Trust oh, yeah. me, I know. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's thousand dollar gigs too. Don't just skip yeah, up word. to three. There's there's a couple hundred in a bottle of gigs. <laughs> that, yo, there's for the look gigs too. Word. Oh my god, it's a good look. I don't want to watch that. You should series. do that <laughs> for the, the, for the, the look. <laughs> It's nasty. That's a nasty going series. on and for the look. Yeah. <laughs> These are good ideas. Or <laughs> we just toss edit around. point. <laughs> <laughs> for the look. Save on edit. For the look is nice. Save on even out there. <laughs> no. look, look at Steve Dollars flirting with me. Get out of here, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving you eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I turned around. Steve Dollars. Up. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks you look beautiful in person. <laughs> Steve Dollars. I, I am a beautiful in person though. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're all right, bro. 
<laughs> no, I'm more than I. Bro. Not my fault. <laughs> you know your worth. You are right, a boy. <laughs> uh, so we finished with Cardi, right? We finished with Jim Jones. We finished Dick Eaton, New York. Um, yeah. Did anybody put music out away from New York since Cardi and Jim are both from New York and they're going to say we dick eat in New York? Uh, there's a couple projects. Mozzie put out something. All right, back to New York, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mozzie did put something out. Yeah, Denzel Curry put out something. That I, I like Denzel Curry. I like Denzel Curry a lot, and his last album was really, 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 really good, and I saw he put something out, but I didn't listen to it. This one's a little more mixtapey, but it's still really dope. You heard the Mozzie joint? How is it? Uh, still still mixtapey, but dope. All right, check it out. I like Mozzie. Yeah. I like Mozzie too. Yeah, I gotta check out his project. Uh, yeah, that that looks like it. Looks like all of the new music. Unless you want to check out the new Miley Cyrus EP. I, I I'm did cool. See that. I, there, I, I checked out because there's a Ghostface feature on it, but it didn't really do it for me. Uh, <laughs> Wait, Ghostface is on Miley Cyrus shit? <clears throat> yeah. yeah, there's so nothing that. I can say about it because that's Ghostface. No doubt. Exactly. Yeah, you just have to accept Fire. it. Fire. So, his verse was dope. <laughs> <laughs> that's Flames right there. Uh, flames. Uh, does anyone know who Young Gravy is? I'm not being sarcastic. They put out music. Young Gravy. You're just going through the young new releases young at this gra- point? Yeah, young, <laughs> young, young Great? Young Gravy. I like the name. Well, I like Gravy. I like Gravy a lot. I love Gravy. And I don't like Old Gravy, so I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Old Gravy is definitely yeah, nah, not it. No. I, I fuck with Young Gravy. Yeah. Uh, Kirk Franklin <laughs> put out a new project. All right, Rory, we have a better <laughs> podcast than what you're reading right now. Um, There's not much left to talk about. There's a million things left to talk about. Uh, <laughs> we need to talk about the Chicago police getting off Jesse Smollett's dick. <laughs> like it's annoying now. It is. What, what was the latest? Am I the only one annoyed? What's the latest? Uh, the, I just scroll past that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah the, uh, the 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 un. Well, we we already reported that the uh the the un the sealed records would be unsealed. Oh be- yeah. Because okay. uh, the media went to court and said, "Hey, we want that unsealed." Right. So they unsealed it. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. unsealed it, and none of us gave a fuck enough. Uh, to read all of that I'm shit. I'm not reading 400 pages of so, which, which yeah. is why it's <laughs> about to run the subway. Which right. is why it's interesting when you have outlets that just pull certain lines from it. Of course, that's what they do. And it's called clickbait. Uh, it's the Chicago fucking PD back at it again, man. I don't. And I'm sick of talking about it. And y'all know I'm not on Jussie's side in any of this. But get off his dick. Enough now. Right. En- enough. He lost his job. The shit, the show went off the air. <laughs> he had the worst month, two months of his life. Yeah, but you know how cops we are. Know, we know he's shady. Nothing has been delivered as far as to necessarily prove that he's shady. You can't prove it because he got the niggas on his side. Like, leave him alone now. It's over. No, right. but you know cops and their ego. They technically lost. They got a Fam, back. y'all... Like, s- Y'all sued y'all 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 sued him for a buck twenty five for the cost of the case that y'all like, like enough now. Like you can just tell when somebody's being petty and too much of anything is never good, petty included. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you on the. They they just at this point it's like let it go. Yeah, just who gives a fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it's all right, that man. was a moment yeah. in time. And we now, nobody gives a fuck about this. Yeah, no, yeah. nobody was hurt. Yeah, or, nobody was hurt. Mm-hmm. That's the important part. And when you have the police involved, when you have he oh. tried to pull a scam and he got he it, it didn't go as well. And that's it. That's and it. that's it's, it. It's the, the end. The <laughs> end. Uh, too many people involved. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Police, the media, the government, the TV show people. <laughs> yeah, it's just too much. Too yeah. much on uh, all this justice stuff. Twins. Up. I know I've said it on this podcast before, but if I, yeah, twins. <laughs> Where'd you find hardware twins? store? <laughs> a subway for God's sake. <laughs> They definitely yeah. overproduced that whole whole, <laughs> pro- whole, tried, whole production. I tried yeah. to make a joke last night with Swole and Gladiator. For those that don't know, those are our two giant security guards. They said that they got a gig on Empire. So I was like, oh, yeah, you were the two that, that jumped them. <laughs> Neither of them found that funny. No. <laughs> I'm glad you're still with us, Roy. <laughs> you brave saying that shit to Glad. Word. <laughs> swole, cool. Glad. Yeah, Swole yeah. joke with us. <laughs> yeah, Glad Glad only seemed to laugh at Maul sometimes. <laughs> and even then it's like a huh. <laughs> <laughs> glad y'all don't peep how glad talks in third person all day. Nah, never no, that. Glad I've never hu- heard him talk. He'd be like, Glad hungry. <laughs> G- glad must eat. <laughs> Shout out to Glad and Swole, man. Great Wait, guys. Glad, glad, glad got mad at the navigation system yesterday. Almost punched a hole yeah. in the navigation. Glad. Said, that, that bitch this bitch is annoying. annoying. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, put your meditation yeah. back on. Put your meditation with your white noise uh, soundtrack yeah, on. Yeah, relax. The sound like. of whales. Yeah, man. Um, let's try to call Jim one more time because we dick, dick ate too much to not try to call back. Mm. Yeah, let's try. 
Let's give it a let's give it a go, Roars. <laughs> Super executive Rory on the phone. Please leave your message. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Text me back, say so call. <laughs> Write right. the voicemail. We're gonna try them a third time. Oh, how much how much dick are we gonna eat? Are we, are we those guys? <laughs> oh, we're hungry. <laughs> oh, it's ringing this time at least. <laughs> <laughs> we hungry. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you uh, leading in here? No, you can get your Joe Budden podcast on. Yeah, that's not my phone, so it feels different. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, the nigga ain't respecting you. It's a Rory that name that on the call ID. <laughs> nigga Jim on the incline right now, put, pressing four hundred <laughs> words. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck he Rory one. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I just told him to call me, but Rory better get off my phone. <laughs> He don't know. He, he don't know. Call me as industry for don't call me. <laughs> <laughs> call me as industry for don't call me. Uh, all right, so we'll we'll get back to him. Uh, where where would you gentlemen like to go? Uh, go next. Stay Con- in Chicago. Yeah, Kanye and Letterman. Back Con- at it. You know, Maul just informed me that you could even get Netflix on your phone. Yeah, that's where uh, I watched it. I probably never <laughs> did it to avoid feeling like a weirdo for some reason. Watching uh. things on my phone. No, that's great. When I'm away from the crib, yeah, I watch something real quick. I yeah, watch Beyonce I... on the phone when we're in somewhere. But I could watch it on my phone if you ain't got a girl next to you trying to fucking squeeze into the and trying to look at it. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. move. You know, and even... just in case like a text message might. Right. Never mind. <laughs> Why do y'all still have that feature on your phone? <laughs> I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> like I don't even understand why people have that. You get That's no crazy. notifications. Maul, Maul is None. single and doesn't get notifications. No, no, and not just I don't because get I'm hot at anything. I just don't want to be watching something and that shit keep popping up. Yeah. I don't get notifications on my phone. I, don't do that. I just that. always thought it was corny. Yeah. I just think it's crazy. It's corny too. My niggas got to get in trouble for like when girls hit them that you don't even care about them. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> no, honestly. Like, I didn't tell honestly, her to text am I lying? Me. No, 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 no. You're not. Like, I'm is that fair? You. I'm with you on that. Yeah, no, it's not, not fair. fair. Don't they need a better way to gauge that? Yeah. They than, do. Than just flipping? But yeah. then they'll just be like, all right, well, why does she have your number? <laughs> and then it's like, that's none of your business. Right. Fam, because I wrote my number in the men's bathroom for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, men, and the men and women's bathroom. <laughs> I was going to say, what was she doing in the, in the men's bathroom? Sucking to get your and number. Sucking and sucking. And then turned over and said, oh, Joe looks great. What's this number? <laughs> Let me text it. I'll give it a call. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? Why does she have my phone number? Because in that one moment, I thought it was cool when it was really dark. <laughs> <laughs> she made me feel good in that moment. <laughs> in that minute. And I was rushing to take that feeling to you. Yeah. <laughs> and women, right. and women will take your phone calling. and put their number in. I don't like that. Yeah. Women take do your that phone and put your number in it? They'll take your phone and put their number in it and put like an emoji next to it. <laughs> if she's cute, I'm not mad at that. Well, let me decide what emoji I want next to your name. <laughs> and let me decide how I store you in my phone, because I'm never going to remember your name. No, it has to be a location. <laughs> you got to put something in the Raina description. Raina, green shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely got to put location, See, time. But, but, you know, yeah. but that's wild, too, because when your girl or a girl sees that, they think something totally different. Like, we put in Raina slash Dallas, because Raina's from Dallas. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's and it. it. And if I'm in Dallas, <laughs> yeah. I'll hit Raina. Yeah. The, but I'm in New York. That is the end of the psychology behind why there is a city next to the girl's name. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's not us reenacting the ludicrous we got innate dog, we got hoes <laughs> in every area code. Yeah, and especially if it's, a, if it's a common name like Erica. You know how many Erica's I have in my phone? At yeah, least nine. Yeah, but I yeah. come on, man. You can't get in trouble for a bitch saying hey. <laughs> 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 Women no, you it. can. But yeah, you is, can but, and it, do. But, but is it right? No, it's not it's right. Not right. It's, it's not none of it. And I hate when we have these conversations in this room and agree because we're all stupid guys. Yeah. yeah, we know nothing. We don't know anything. We're mere yeah. mortals. I'm yeah. Glad hungry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you What do you want to go? Oh, uh, stay in Chicago. Kanye Letterman. I don't have Netflix on my phone. We've been on the road. I was unable to see it. Uh, Parks, you saw it. I right? watched it. Yeah, I watched it. Rory saw some, I saw some, some clips. clips, which means Rory didn't see shit. Yeah, <laughs> uh, sounds about right. And more, you didn't see it. No, I was gonna watch it tonight. But... So we have a Parks breakdown expert analysis headed our way. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to take it away, Parks. V. I really, I really liked it. I liked it. Uh, he, there you have a, it. A, a, a bulk, <laughs> All right. A, a bulk of the uh, interview is about mental health, and being that he's been going through a lot of mental health shit, he said a lot of shit that I've dated someone with mental health issues, and like I've mm-hmm. felt what he was saying. Well, you do a podcast with three, four people that all have mental we health all issues. Do. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he got into some of his political shit a little bit later. Hold up for a minute, before you break up with a nigga that got mental health problems. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo. How many days has it been more? 20. <laughs> see, but 20. That, wait, but see that. Yeah, you could have been in a new relationship with him. But time out, and, and that's true. But that, see, but that's what's fucked up. Just because of what I'm going through, like I just be thinking of shit, and y'all just gonna say, "Oh yeah, I told you you had a week." I'm not even talking no, about no, that. No, no, no. At chilling. this point, we're just fucking with you. Oh, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I definitely 100%. don't think that yeah, you're. But this is a popular podcast. Y'all say some shit, then the fans yeah. get to tweeting. Y'all relax oh. out there. Joe is okay. Oh yeah, you should take your own advice with everything you say. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. they've been talking about my sideburns for two weeks now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just like I don't have '70s sideburns, people. <laughs> like it was a joke. I mean, y'all are running with it. <laughs> you kind of do though. <laughs> a little no, bit. I don't. I don't oh. even understand. What how do how do my sideburns remind you out of seventies? Google seventy sideburns. <laughs> how do my, my sideburns are thick? Coming up. <laughs> my, like I don't have the They're pork slimmer. chop sideburns. You kind of look like, like every slimmer. member of the slimmer. Five Heartbeats movie. Rory, I don't have the pork chops. I don't have the. <laughs> I should go for it. I do no, like the no, Rory. <laughs> Finally, we're jumping you. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> but they're, they're just slimmer. So what makes them seventies? Uh, they exist. <laughs> <laughs> They're a little longer. <laughs> And they end wide still for 2019. That's what it is. Oh, you see from Jersey. You want them to chin strap it up? Yeah, like Jersey <laughs> niggas no. love that little nasty that chin strap. Ass. That shit is chin trash. Strap. Yeah, oh, Jersey God. niggas, the they love putting that little... Yeah, that's yeah, that's Joe might have been a pioneer of the chin strap game. For sure. <laughs> no, I wasn't a pioneer. My nigga Kurt in Jersey City was giving that to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even have to ask. You just sat in the that chair. Was the he, 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 was, he was the first person that to put it on me. I said, quo. hmm, okay, I'll go with it. <laughs> well, what was nastier? The little, the thin one that went like this or the one that was like maybe this big? Not like a thicker centimeter. One. Yeah, they're that both was gross. Nasty. Nah, the thin, thin one is super yeah. nasty. Especially if you got the thin mustache too. Oh, yeah. oh. my god, that <laughs> shit look like mascara perf. on your face. Yo, you know, you know, you, I would be, you'd be surprised. And this is like a thing I do. I look at men's mustaches. You'd be surprised how many dudes. Is this are after you wrote your number in the men's bathroom? Bad mustaches with the thin, the the, the pencil that, joint. That was funny, Rory. That <laughs> was funny. It. Let me hit a round of applause in your drop. No. All right. It wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> didn't need all that. <laughs> that. No, that was funny though. Um, now I don't remember what I was talking about. Uh, you were looking mustaches. at men's mustaches. How many dudes have super thin, stupid ass mustaches <laughs> and they're talking? That shit bad. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. Why well, say yeah. they're talking? Because they don't know that they look stupid in the above the mouth. Why do you have just just <laughs> shave all of that shit off? <laughs> Like, yeah. we have it that thin, yeah. just yeah. shave it all yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. All the way off, I be, all the way off. Yeah. I be wanting to say, fam, you look stupid above the mouth. Jimmy's calling. <laughs> hey, Jimmy's calling back. Yo. What's up, bro? What's going on, Jim? You are live on the podcast right now. I don't like how you do that. I know, hey, I Jim, to... this is Joe Button live from the Joe Button podcast. How are you? <laughs> the fuck is going on over there? I'm chilling. What's up with you? I, I have heard this album. I have heard it. I have heard it oh. from top okay. to bottom, and I have just a few questions, if you don't mind. Okay. Yep. What's wrong with you in the head? Seen it. <laughs> Something is going on, man. Something is, is. We had this talk on your last album, but now even more so, it sounds like something is off up there that's making you just go crazy. <laughs> I've been, I've been fighting depression with aggression. The only way well, we know that. Be the music, fam. Uh, is I, I think there's at least two or three of us in here that say this is your best album to date. That I'm, yeah, you nah, said that. Yeah, yeah that's Jim. No, yeah, no, nah, this nah, is no, nah, Jim. Hustler's poem for me was was number one until uh, Wednesday. Yeah, man. When we heard that shit. Wow. Poem better than poem. Yeah, I gotta say, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I gotta say, I'm rolling. You know what it is too, Jim? Because we old niggas now. So, like, you speaking, you speaking what I want to hear at thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, but still, I'll fuck a nigga up and shoot him. Yeah, <laughs> like it's 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 mature. I'll shoot you. I flipped all the drugs and I have all the money in the basement. I'm deciding to work out, nigga. <laughs> yeah, and it, it, it's 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 on on top of that too. It's just a certain feeling that it brings back. Like I'm ready to go get a chopped cheese from Hodges right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's what it was about. It was all about the pre gentrification Harlem, man. I got a chance to really sit down with uh, Austin and really do a full project so I wanted to make sure I embody what his music represented when we first got with him and that was the whole diplomat sound which was all about Harlem so yeah. just wanted to get back to that from a whole, from, from an older perspective like you said giving out stories from from things that I've done uh, personally and to 
uh, experiences from people that's close to me and what they're going through. So, you know, I, I always try to put that out there. So Thank people you. Can use that as an example. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> Jim, did you, did you record this in New York? Yeah, I recorded this in Heat Maker Studio. Um, mm, yeah. I, uh, I also, I recorded once, I recorded the Jada Kiss joint up there by Jada Kiss Studio. He did the verse up there. Then I did a couple of records in Miami. I did the uh, State of the Union record with Rick Ross in Miami. Mm-hmm. Ross smoked that shit, I man. actually got a chance to get Rick Ross on it like a month later, so I thought that was... That was dope. He I want, I that. want, I, but I want to shout out to everybody that Jim featured on this album. We was just saying, every everybody smoked it. Fat Joe, Ross, Currency, uh, Mano, Fab, Fred the Godson, uh, Benny and um, Conway. Conway, Benny and Conway. I can't remember all the names on it off the top, but everybody smoked it. Yo, but wait, you doing some? I, we was just saying that Jim is like one of the greatest A and R's, like New York A and R's. But you yeah. doing some consultant shit. Yeah, now we yeah, we just started to uh, consult the agency. It's actually called the consult agency. Um, bless to all the, all the clients that we have now, and all the people that have been inquiring, and trying to figure it out. I've been, you know, I've been giving game out for a lot, for a long time for free. So, decided to make a business out of it and try to help these rappers at least get a fair chance at the, at having a career in music. Very, very important. Mm-hmm. Very important. We need that. When uh, you showed a video, uh, I don't remember if it was you or Mano, but maybe both of y'all showed a video of Mano pulling up to Harlem and y'all niggas wilding out in the yeah. street. And I, 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 won't, I won't lie, Jim, I was jealous. I was jealous. Oh man! I, I, I want to pull up. I want to pull up and feel that energy, and I'll never do it without you calling me. <laughs> <laughs> I won't show up unannounced. Say no more. We got about four more videos to shoot in Harlem. On like Man. last week or the week before last, it took eight days, and I shot videos in Harlem every every day. I was in Harlem and shit like that. So we really got the feeling. And then um, shit, I got four more four more records to do out in Harlem. So I'm going to definitely invite you and the crew, and we're gonna have a nice picnic in Harlem like we always. Ah uh, yes, yes. yes. Uh, picnic in Harlem, yes. man. Don't <laughs> get me fucking excited, Jim. Yeah, Jim, <laughs> continue to make the new residents of Harlem uncomfortable at every video shoot. Word. That's what I like to see. Oh. Yeah, them cars was mad. They was trying. They they wanted to hit them, but they couldn't. <laughs> yeah, you know you gotta disrupt the neighborhood. You, you got course. to all the, all the gentrification, all yeah. the gentrification. Yeah. You know, like they gotta see a little bit of what it was, what it's all about. Man. You fucking so, right. You know, we gotta bring that to feeling back. It's gotta bring it back, right, man. You know, getting that, getting a call from you and you guys, man, means a lot at the, at, in this industry, man. You know, it's few people that people listen to when it comes to critiquing albums and. To get a to get a thumbs up from y'all, you know that goes a long way, especially in this game. So I appreciate that definitely. Well, we appreciate the fact that you're still doing it and you're still passionate and still producing at a high level. We will be waiting on the call for the picnic in Harlem. We right. love you and stay up, nigga. Uh, y'all too, man. I see y'all soon. Definitely call me for the picnic. War. Right. Man. <laughs> I, yeah, because I'm not pulling up the video shoot if he's not on it. No, no. Have you ever seen one of them shoots? No. Nah. It's that energy. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. need a personal, yeah, okay. personal invite. You need yeah. a friend. Yeah. yeah. You need Maybe a friend, like yeah. a double confirmation, too. Like, yo, I just want to make sure the invite, you really meant I could come. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah was it the industry? Yo, you, yeah. yo, no. you remembered that I was invited, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> First of all, I want to invite to anywhere that Mano goes alone. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be clear on a few things. Yeah, yeah. Anywhere, anytime Mano pull out his phone and casually just walks up and daps somebody and just sits on a crate. Yeah, yeah, I, w- I would like an invite to that place. I'm not, just, <laughs> I'm not just gonna walk there. Uh, all right, so uh, that, that was hard. That was hard, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah, I'm super happy for Jim. I know we've been dicking a lot, but I'm super, 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 super happy. No, for him. me too. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah, he deserves it. He deserves and and it. I, think, I think this will be a slow build, too. I think this album's going to last for a while. I'm going to play this for a while. I can tell you that right now. Shouts to Arsonists, too, man. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shouts to Arsonists. It sound like, it sound like, because you, you're right, Rory, I agree. I think this album will last. And it sounded like, I thought the last one would have made more noise. But mm-hmm. it sounded like he saw, he, he got in that feeling on the last one and said, and step back, reassess, said, I know, I know what to do. Yeah. I know what to do. I got him. Yeah. I got y'all. Well, he had yeah. a bunch of heat makers, arsonist joints on the last one, so. Yeah. Yeah. And I think those are probably the standout records on Waste of Talent. I agree. So yeah. I think they was just like, all right, let's yeah. just do the whole thing together. Let's do it. <laughs> See, now, where is the New York club that I can go to Mm-mm. to hear the records from Jim's nah. album? Come on, you know what I'm saying, Maul. Yeah. Well, it's, not, it's not available anymore. Nah, it's nah, it's gotta be. You know what it is? You gotta they be trying find... to do that in the bowl more now. Like, yeah, I was gonna say you gotta find like a bar 
It's a lot of bars that'll play that. That's why she said club. No. Yeah, yeah. Club bar. Yeah. Is there yeah. club clubs is, left? Is there <laughs> is there a lounge? Yeah, lounge. Play it? Yeah, lounge will probably yeah. play it. A certain night. Yes. Yeah. A certain night. You can find a lounge that'll play play a couple joints over there. I mean, yeah. we have we have the court at last lap. I could just play it from my phone. <laughs> See, that's what they got. Yeah, but I hate I'm not I hate last lap. Not, y'all niggas hipster niggas, man. You it's just it's just it's just too tight in there. It's too small. <laughs> That's just I love it though. I love the, I love the vibe. Why do y'all love it so much? In there? And everybody loves it. So well, it's uh, like it's like not I, just me. Because I know everyone in there. Yeah. I know the people I'm gonna be around. Yeah. I know I'm gonna like them. I know the music is gonna be good. It's like my, everybody you know. I'm putting you fuck money with, in my my friends' pockets. It's like it's like the, mm. it's like our personal cheers. It's like yeah. our personal little spot with everybody. And that that up, I know. love. That's the most I love though. Because New York prices like I'm giving you fourteen dollars for a drink. At least let it be my friend. Man, <laughs> right. So right. why don't we buy a place then? Let's do it. Oh, it's been in the back of my mind. Do you know, we I grew up in a rest, restaurant bar about that on yes. What are you on, Tom? See, I, I can't continue to listen to us even speak this way. I'm 100%. It'd be enough niggas in last lap with money. And if you just go in there to just hang, niggas could get a spot to hang somewhere. Why are we yeah. going to give no, small listen, I'm in. X amount of dollars, give such I'm and in. such X amount, Dumbo House X amount of dollars? I'm in. Fuck. Yeah. yeah, man. I'm well, no, I'm definitely. A, a lot of that was the owners of last lap. Like, we would go to Griffin or we would go... Uh, to the Anthony, like all these spots that they would promote at, and be like, dope. I know they're thinking, I'm just giving this venue so much money because I'm inviting my friends. Right. Let me just get a fucking spot. Right. I don't know why we don't, why dudes don't just get a fucking spot if you have the income to get the spot and the friends to continue to generate all the income <laughs> if right. you have a spot. Right. Yeah. It just sounds like one plus one is two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But whatever. We have to talk about that right now. Yeah. Uh, what were we? We were talking about Jim. We got off of Jim back we to Kanye, Kanye for the 90th time. Yeah. Mental health conversation. You yeah, said you great. learned a few things. Yeah. It was good. You said you were dating somebody who was on mental health. And yeah. he said a lot of things that resonated with yeah, you. Yeah, like a, particularly he was talking about how fucked up it is that when you go to a place to get checked in or you get checked into a place, they separate you from everyone that you feel comfortable and love. And how fucked up that is. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I've experienced that firsthand where it's like, my girl was going through some shit and they won't let me see her or her family see her. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. That is fucked up. And you're in like a weird place with a bunch of people that are also going through some shit. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's tough. That's tough. And it was dope that he brought light to that. A lot of the stuff that he was saying it, regarding mental health and his family, he talked about his mother a lot in there. He talked about the Drake thing. Even okay. though they said that really? he wasn't going to. Oh, yeah. great. Okay, that he even good. said specifically, I'm not supposed to talk about this person, but he said this line in the song, da 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 So it was really um, good. So it sounds like it was a good interview. Letterman gave a really good Kanye interview. So. Yeah, it was. Great. It was. I look forward to, to watching. Sorry, I did, Rory. I did don't, don't great. I think you owe Letterman and Kanye. No, let me watch Kanye it first. Let me watch it first. And Parks. And Parks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What I did to Parks. You owe, you, owe, you owe the three of them an apology. Uh, I you, did you see You berated clip. Parks for implying that Letterman gave good interviews sometimes. <laughs> I don't remember it going that way. Well, but, it's, it's, it's recorded. <laughs> it's out there. And I was with you, so I'm with you. I'm still with you. <laughs> I'm still with it. you in that. Uh, I did but see I'm a glad clip. that we got a good Kanye interview. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I did see a clip that everyone was making fun of, but I was kind of interested in it. Well, when he said, uh, Kanye said he had a sprained brain. That was part of the mental health thing. He was talking about how, uh, like, if you're an athlete and you injure something, like, they give you a break. But if you injure your brain, people don't give you a break. Something to that effect. I feel him. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely. I I get it. He's like, you injure yourself more if you have a sprained ankle. They won't let you continue to walk on the shit. Yeah. So now I wonder if we do not get Kanye on Joe Rogan now. I don't think so. I don't know. I think they, they audible over to, to Letterman. Well, Letterman, I mean, the interview is only like 50, maybe 45 minutes long. So it's not okay. like the most in-depth thing in the world, mm-hmm. honestly. Um, so there's a lot more that he could talk about if he was so inclined. Mm-hmm. And especially with someone like Rogan who's going to bring up off-the-wall Everything, shit. Yeah. yeah. So I would look forward to that, too, if it happens. Me, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah I w- Roy would, has stated that. I would like Rogan because I know they won't talk about Drake. They'll talk about some whole left shit. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Letterman, you know, most of his interviews are more like family centric, of course, kind of things, which why, I actually enjoy about his interviews. You know what I'm saying? They might be safe, quote unquote, but it's kind of like he's talking about like what do you sing to your kids when you put them to bed? And like to me, that's kind of dope because you don't hear that from yeah from Charlemagne people. or someone else that's going to just talk about you know production or features mm. or more you know shit that we care about. Are you saying Charlemagne is not a good interviewer? No, is he is. Just, is that what you just said? <laughs> 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 well, I don't mean to take your lane, Mom. My bad. 
No, I, I like Charlotte. <laughs> <Manson. laughs> I like Charlemagne's interviews, but it's it's nice to hear sometimes a different way of approaching. Yeah, that's, someone that, from our that's culture. That's what I appreciate about Angie interviews. Yeah, she always has a different approach to get to where she's going. And, right. Yeah. And and people feel really comfortable around her, so she gets to it. There was one little awkward part. They they got Letterman in uh, his house, and he uh, dripped him out in the all the Yeezy fashion. Oh God, that was pretty weird. That's dope. <laughs> <laughs> Shit like that is cool. Yeah, I mean, to he kind of pulled it off. Yeah, put but, him uh, in a bunch of Yeezys. I mean, he's got, he's got the beard. Yeah. He could pull that off. And that beard, like the homeless look, look, like it kind of worked with him. Yeah, it, uh, it definitely works <laughs> with, that, with that beard. It yeah. definitely works. Yeah. Um, would you guys like to discuss Mike Tyson versus WAC One Hundred again? You have new well, information. Well, yeah, new things have. I would not like to, but I think I'm I'm the odd man out here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like y'all can't wait. To talk about this again. I don't know if there's that's, new information. That's, that's not necessarily true. Well, cl- uh, clip, clips came out. Oh, okay. Clips came out. Give of, us the scoop. Yeah, but that was footage. some bullshit. This, that was... I, just, I don't have a scoop. <laughs> the don't, don't try to put this whatever bullshit they're doing on me to uh, deliver. Our industry they, insider. Hey, all y'all out there with brains, use your fucking brain. Don't, <laughs> don't try to put it on me. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't want to talk about it. I know it's some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You weren't feeling the authenticity of this particular clip? Yo, I'm, well, no, you can tell that clip. I'm is different, fake. man. You can tell that that clip. I'm is different. Fake. I'm different, and I want to meet people who are who are also different. But I tell you this: I know that Mike Tyson isn't behind this. Mm. That I know for sure. Mm-hmm. Like, I, don't this know, is, I don't know nothing. No, I know, I know I, nothing. Mike, for Mike sure. Tyson is not. He don't. He, he never played these type of games. Never. But is he trying to get like the podcast content game popping? Because maybe his no, his podcast is dope. Oh, this, he don't need to do this. We can't. Oh, okay. People I do this that don't need to do this, which is why that's not really a. That don't really. Give yeah, but me Mike, I don't think I don't I, think well, Mike I, is and everything. Are you saying? I said yesterday in the van, the Parks and Rory. Let me be clear. Okay. I don't know if you was in there. I I said, yo, Mike podcast does, does well. I don't feel like he needs to do any of this. I feel like no. Wack comes from this. Mm-hmm. This is what he does. This is what him and Game do. Mm-hmm. So yeah. The, yeah. Mike, the Mike part was confusing to me. Uh, and then that then the footage came out. Whatever little clip came out. And I, and again, I said to Parson, I thought it was odd that that people were promoting something that they were saying shouldn't have been promoted. And I know how it is when 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 street niggas fight, like mm-hmm. that footage don't really come out. No, like mm-hmm. both parties don't want that out. Mm-hmm. So the fact that this shit came out, that punch that whacked through Mike's response, the camera angle. At one point, Mike got up swinging, and then he jumped to the other side swinging and whacked didn't even go to the other side. Like, it's what are y'all doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, but I thought that was fake. It is fucking fake, but what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's... Listen, again, man. <laughs> like, I want to meet people who don't have to live that way. <laughs> I want to I want to meet and deal with and hang out and associate with people who don't manipulate perception every opportunity they get. Well, like, this... I want to deal with people who keep me as close to reality as I can possibly be. Yeah, I know I I'm saying things that's just real, real simplistic, but today it's difficult to meet some of those people. That's a fact. Like it's 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 nasty outside. Yeah. It is the content game. Yeah, <laughs> it's look a, what niggas got to do. See, but y'all be joking. Look what niggas got to do in the talk yeah. to niggas game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, you gotta, gotta set some. You gotta step up the talk, to, yeah. the talking game, the talk to niggas yeah, you gotta game, fight niggas, fake fight niggas, the, the fam. <laughs> you gotta what, fake Mike, fight Tyson. Mike Tyson. <laughs> no, what, what do y'all think I was in the kitchen in my house thinking about three weeks ago? Not fighting Mike Tyson. No, I'm like y'all, I should just snuff Rory. <laughs> <laughs> Rory's Mike Tyson. I'm no, I'm just I saying. That. I'm just saying, if any one of us got up and snuffed any one of us. It would be awesome, <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> but it would go viral. It would last for one day, and then everyone would move on to the next thing. Right. I don't understand. That's what I'm saying. There's no sustainability in it to me. No. If you look at the history of all of them, and it ain't that much history. Right. This just started. Yeah. It's not sustain. It's not a sustainable business model. Yeah. It's very. It, it, it's very uh, short lived. I don't understand why people optimally choose it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Hail Mary every time. <laughs> every fucking, like, man, nigga, go sit in a corner, turn the fucking wheels in your brain, and come up with something. <laughs> yeah, that's what they landed on. <laughs> yeah, but it's they low, did it. It's very low hanging fruit. Of course, and all, it is. all of us land on the low hanging fruit. 
Right. At times. Some of us skip it. Yeah. Yeah. No, all our brains land on it. It's yeah. right there low. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the first thing. Some of us, we'll get a reaction. Go we keep, we keep going. We keep going. Pat. I'm sick of this shit. And, but I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. I think it's dwindling down. I know we're still seeing, seeing it run rampant. Right. But I do think you think that, it might be peaking. I th- yeah, I think, I think, I think people are starting to realize that if it don't work, the repercussions are great. Mm. Like I don't think I don't think people are getting out of it what they are looking to get out of it, uh, and I think it, it's having lasting effect. People are noticing that, and think in 2020 we're going to see a lot less hmm. of yeah. all of, all of this clout chasing shit. The clout chasing era, much like the swag era, much like a lot of eras, we can go back and put the uh, what do we go to the reggaeton era? What's the other era we talk about the uh, that you be uh, the crunk era? The crunk era. There's just a bunch of eras that we just in this clout chasing era right this second. Right. And some people do it very well. Some people manipulate algorithms well. The the fifth fifth. 50 normally has a great idea on how to do that. But this 50 cent, everybody owes me money and I'm going to get it thing is an example of a great way to do this. Right. That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. That's a funny way to grab attention. Yeah. But 50 is good at picking the shit that he wants to attach himself to and and go with that. 50 kind of came in with that, uh, if you want to call it clout chasing and, uh, you know. Yeah. Attention, the whole, yeah, the, yeah. the attention grabbing thing. He came in with that. Yeah, with how to rob? Yeah, yeah, how to rob was like that. You know what I mean? Like, mm. yeah. Well, so, I wish some of the kids would study his methods then. <laughs> and well, and, well, everyone, well everyone's yeah, not built at for least his methods. Well, they are, but they're studying them from like a decade ago. No, but the you thing is, saying? like, you gotta have at some point. It's cool to have that, but then right behind that, it has to be like a talent. real talent. A, a yeah. fucking you diamond album. Them. Yeah, it has to That's, be like a real <laughs> talent, a real... One of the best hip-hop albums ever. Yeah, <laughs> like, then it's like, okay, we we, under, we understand it. Uh, you delivered. Kind of right. like the Lil Nas kid. I think when that started out, that was kind of a troll. Yeah, I it think was. it was kind of a moment, like, let me get some attention. Yeah. And he had, it's up for debate, the degree of talent, but he had talent. He made an amazing song. Yeah. There's a good way to chase some bullshit. Uh, he's another great example, Rory. Uh, that little that little Nas X uh, kid trolls a lot, mm-hmm. like, but it's done properly. Okay, it's done in a not obnoxious way. It's done. It's just done correctly. And I love that shit he did uh, at the school. Oh, with the kids, yeah. Was when he saw on the news that the fifth grade class uh, for gra- graduation had a. Uh, they were ending in, in a big dance to his song, and he tweeted them and said, how would you like a free show? And then the next week he popped up there. Like, I like shit like that. Yeah, that's dope. Like, that's, that's, that's... That's giving back. Like, that's yeah. that's different. That's not just taking. That's the correct that's clout back. chasing. Yeah. That is the, cor- the correct clout chasing. I want some clout. Let me go rap for the kids. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Period. Yeah. I fuck with him. Uh, and congratulations to him, even if I do think he's a plant, that uh, <laughs> his song is number yeah. one on Rhythmic, both Rhythmic and Urban. And I'm still confused on why it's called Rhythmic and Urban <laughs> when Urban people have the, the rhythm. rhythm. <laughs> that is a very interesting Listen, point. Man. Shouldn't they have updated that? Nah. You don't think? Look, see, we're going to bust his face. Because <laughs> Rory knows they should have changed of it. Of course. <laughs> of course. They never will. Yeah. Yeah, no, I know. Still, um, still, it's still called urban. <laughs> like, what are, you, word. what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, word. Got me there. Um, Mad suburbs in the urban. <laughs> yeah. Where, what else is important? Yeah, the uh, most popular music in the entire world that is urban. everywhere is called urban. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. And it's owned by the French. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Steep. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, back to more maturation in hip hop. The same thing I was saying earlier about Jim Jones. Bizarre of D12 has decided to issue an apology to none other than myself. Aw. Uh, I saw it. Uh, he apologized because in his diss track to me, he made mention of uh, uh, my dog dying, and that was a sad. That was a sad time in my life. Yeah. Uh, but you can't act like it when somebody is. Uh, dissing you in a song <laughs> uh, but he apologized and I heard it and I accept the apology there's no real beef between to me and Bizarre there's no beef period between me and uh, Bizarre uh, but but I just pointed out because again sometimes you just gotta leave people be 
Right. And if they're doing the right thing, they'll come around. Mm. Like, he didn't have to do that. Me and Bizarre no. maybe would, are, will never talk again. Maybe we'll never see each other again. Who knows what tomorrow holds? Right. But the fact that in the last however many months, he said to himself, you know what? That was fucked up. Mm. That's just dope. Yeah, That's I agree. I, I, have no, I have nothing more on that. Did he no, apologize I, to Brandon? <laughs> <laughs> he needs to apologize to Brandon. Yeah. Oh, man, we got to call Bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't apologize to Brandon, man. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate those apologies, even if they're like 10 years later. Yeah. Like, I've done them before when you just mature more. And I'm not saying this as the Bizarre thing, but just in general. Right. I've thought about like seven years ago where like, I don't even speak to this person anymore. It's right. probably not going to matter. But I did some really dumb shit, and mm-hmm. I just realized it now. Mm-hmm. You probably don't need this apology, but here you go. Yeah. I yeah. realized I was stupid. A late apology is better than no I'll, apology. I'll take it. Yeah, me too. Always. Me too. Yeah, I thought that was uh, mature of bizarre. Sometimes it even feels better when it comes late. Yeah, because you processed it. You really realized that you did some dumb shit. Not yeah. like it wasn't a reaction like, oh, sorry, my fault. Because yeah. you don't never really know if you really sorry we, at that I mean, time. We are, and the thing is, we all do and say dumb shit in the midst of a moment. Right, of course. And then when you take time and the moment is gone and you sit back and then you start really going through all of that shit that happened in that moment, you're like, oh, that was unnecessary. Well, right. that's why that's why we go so hard on, on cancel culture sometimes, and it has nothing to do with this. But we to, today, we, we in this climate, we cannot lose the ability to make mistakes. Mm-hmm. Mm. We cannot lose the ability to be taught something or be enlightened or or just the ability to forgive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Today. Most importantly, yeah, yeah, because because you could you could have the most sincere apology in the universe. If where it's headed is still corroded internally, mm-hmm. then they're not ready to receive it. And guess what? That can't fall on you because <clears throat> right. you did your job and you did your part and you did you know you did what you had to do to mature and get to the space where you can apologize. I don't know how we got into this mature yeah. conversation. Well, no, I mean I like even it, like when Kevin Hart did that shit, it was such a small line, but it was it was the cancel culture kind of full circle shit like I, it was 10 years ago I can't change you don't think I've changed in 10 years like or, well we're stripping people of the ability to change shouldn't at you least, want me to least, change at least publicly like yeah yeah. back in that era homosexual things we were loose with them it was bad I think we've all realized that we were wrong then yeah you it can, ta- it, you takes, can obviously- it takes you to look back and say alright yeah that was wrong even a lot of these uh Sexual misconduct cases coming up, and please don't misconstrue anything I'm saying. But uh, some of them, you know, there was a time where some of that behavior was just happening. Mm. Mm-hmm. Totally wrong. Yeah. Totally wrong. Now you look back and say, oh, all your niggas was fucked. Like, yeah, you do fucked up shit. And yeah, yeah. It, there needs to be. Uh, and no, none there. of us here have yeah. ever done any sexual misconduct. I'm just u- using an example, yeah. saying that for the casual listener out there that's going <laughs> to chop some shit up. They sure are. Yeah. This, yeah. The same way you should be punished is the same way you should have some rehabilitation. Yeah. Like, people get out of prison for small crimes. Like, yeah. you go, you get punished, and then you leave. <laughs> yeah. Well, rehabilitation. Like, you shouldn't give someone a life sentence for stealing something out of a store. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> rehabilitation in this country is like artist development to me in music. <laughs> I see. I actually see that comparison. I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see it. I mean, people should be rehabilitated, and we should stand behind that. <laughs> but, but, yeah, nah. really <laughs> yeah just, there's never toss really over there. That way, yeah. Yeah, just toss them over We're there. We're just looking for the next hot single. Yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Ava DuVernay. Uh, uh, what's the name of the Central Park Five? Shit, uh, oh. what they think about us. This is us. This is us. This is us. You guys didn't watch that on your Netflix No, I saw phone. it, but it's, it's, my list. it's out five, on your five Netflix series phone. So came, came out yesterday. <laughs> uh, I do have to see it. Uh, Malls really got me into this uh, Lion King The song. Lion Share, yes. The Lion Share. Oh, I watched it. But that's definitely... Did you watch it? Yeah, I did. How, how was, was it? it? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, yeah. Park said it was real good. Yeah. Huh? It's definitely a petty move against Disney, though. Whatever. Great. Yeah. <laughs> you all in parks? I'm all in, yeah. <laughs> But look what it is. Well, no, it's true, though, because a lot of these big companies take advantage of shit like that. You know, Absolutely. And not to take Joe's bag, but they be robbing creators. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, like, getting away with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Making millions off other people's backs. That's fucked up. Disney and Netflix is up there battling it out. And the only like, reason why this is... Think about all of the all of the steps in the streaming wars. Like, there's a lot of streaming wars. Fuck well, Star no, Wars. Sh- <laughs> shit, think about what that says also about Netflix. Disney. Just to even have the ability... To battle with Disney, mm. yeah. I don't know. How old is Netflix? 
Well, we have to see if they have the yeah, ability I don't know. Oh, I know. to manage no, Disney. No, I know. Did. I'm just saying just to be in the same just sentence. The fact that they're a of, threat. That's what I'm saying. The fact that they are yeah, a threat. Yeah, Disney looked at them and said, we got to make a move. Yeah, yeah but listen, mm-hmm. everybody that looked at Netflix and slept on them is no longer. Blockbuster, mm-hmm. cable television. Yeah. Like, you got to acknowledge Was it. Netflix originally that machine, the red box? No. Uh, no. Netflix no. originally was you could DVDs. get DVDs delivered to your yeah, crib DVDs and, like, to the hold crib. them as long as you want. Yeah. But to get new ones, you had to return them. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay, I thought I thought Netflix was really that red box shit. I they still around, have red box. I was around for the era, like Target, getting DVDs in the mail. That shit was rough. <laughs> like <laughs> them shit to get lost. I miss little shit like going to Blockbuster and getting home, and the fucking tape was fucking in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> they put it in the wrong. They put it in the wrong thing. Yeah, like little shit like that was like it was an eventual walking to Blockbuster. Like that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Going through yeah. the aisles looking for certain movies. Them them not having it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like that was a. It's an experience that you is is like a lost thing. Like yeah, because browsing on the internet kind of sucks. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I don't, I'm sitting here thinking of all the shit that Disney got. Everything. I don't, I don't oh, know. I don't it's, really it's, know. It's, it's everything fight, don't, they got yeah. the Simpsons. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> they got the Simpsons. Sixty percent of yeah. Hulu, ESPN, Hulu, ESPN, yeah. all of the Marvel, no, it's shit. Just Star Wars. It's, it's the juggernaut. <laughs> Disney is the it's, juggernaut. It's, yeah, I think the only thing that's gonna fuck them up is some antitrust shit. Honestly. It's not fucking anyone else up right now. <laughs> but the way that they're positioning themselves, they might be headed for antitrust. But with the documentary, the reason why I was I'm, I'm, I still got to watch it, but I was it caught my attention was because the person who originated that sound mm-hmm. in that song was from such a poor mm-hmm. country and and and, and village, mm-hmm. and to know how much music, how much money that that song has generated yeah. for a company. It's just probably, and it's like his more, family, him. No, nobody was ever. Mm. It's probably more net income from that song and that usage Damn, than the that's whole what fucking I'm GDP like, of his country. Like that's, that's, that's how, crazy. That's how, that's how I feel. But no, they're South African. They have there's there's that's that's GDP. Disney's pump it up. Like that's they shit. I was about that's their song. That's how I feel about Def Jam and Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, man, the way that they fucking robbed us kids back then. Man. They put us in a video game. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and the video game did video game numbers. Right. Yeah. Which which you saw nice little nice $5,000 check and, and and for recording. No, nobody <laughs> got a fucking red cent. <laughs> and we was hype. Yeah. Right. Because you're in the video. You're in the video. Right. We was in a video. You're immortalized oh, now. Right. Now I'm rapping about getting robbed. The yeah, only yeah. way to play Joey Def Jam Vendetta ain't the only way. Right. <laughs> right. That is not the only way, Joey. Right. Oh, if I could write to your younger self. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you be seeing chicks do that, but I, I'm intrigued when they do it. Like, Or, or uh, not chicks, but uh, entertainers do it sometimes, or parents do it. Just writing to your younger self and what you would say. Mm-hmm. Mm. One yeah. day I'm going to do that. No, right I think Nikki did a record like that. Who did? Nikki. Uh, I think it was like an intro. Okay. That was good. I got a lot more to say to my younger self than could fit in a record. <laughs> that oh, would be one a of your jo- records, That would be a good maybe. Joe Budden record. <laughs> that would be a Joe Budden record to yeah. a fucking <laughs> T. And, <laughs> All and, 400 bars. I yeah. never want to make another Joe Budden record. Oh, you're no See, fun. that's the part that Joe Budden fans miss. Like, I mean, um, the part that they miss about me. Like that recording that stuff was never fun. <laughs> <laughs> Reliving those things. Man, what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, I've said that on this podcast a bunch of times. As an artist, you record you 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 experience something, then you go in the booth, you re experience it. Mm-hmm. Then it it's released and you're re experiencing it. Re experiencing it. And then you're touring. Then talk to fans about it. Then you have to do interviews about all the shit. You could be totally past all the shit you just rapped about. Right. Sean tried to tell you and that, then, and you said no. Well, that's right. what was happening to me on, on All Love Lost. Like, we went on tour, and I was in a much, I was happy as shit <laughs> on tour, having to rap all that shit. Like, wait a minute, man. <laughs> Look, the show's is making me sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But All Love Lost, oh, my God, let's get off it, because I've been listening to that album a lot, and it's amazing. I told you. It is a, it's amazing if you're feeling something on there. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. What else we got? What else we got? I have, so I'm going to watch the, uh, the This Is Us. I'm going to watch that. Uh, I'm gonna watch the the Lions King song. The Lions Share. Lion Share. Lion Share. Yeah. Uh, I feel like something something else was coming out that I'm I'm supposed to watch. I want to shout out all the Game of Thrones people. I told y'all your Sundays would be okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're fine. Your Sundays are just fine. Back to normal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Snowfall's well, coming back, so everything's uh, I can't okay. wait for that. That's yes. Yes. Some more won't be showing up to the podcast. Snowfall. <laughs> <laughs> that's your shit. That is my shit. Uh, July no, 10th. Uh, that's not what he was saying. <laughs> oh. He was saying that's your show. Just saying. Like, you're in it. I got it. <laughs> um, yeah, and Snowfall's coming back. Uh, 
heard real good things about it. Mm. Uh, shout out to John Singletary. John uh, Singleton, rest in peace. Just, why do I always say John Singletary? Who is? Oh, he was I, know, like a, I know John yeah, Singletary. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, rest in peace, John Singleton. Uh, I feel like the shy has been doing some some damage control with all that Jason Jason I mean, Mitchell course. stuff that's been going on. I had to. Yeah, and and uh, I love Lena, so I ain't gonna get into it. But some of that stuff she was saying on the Breakfast Club, yeah, they're picking it apart. Mm. Yeah, they're picking it apart. And I won't because it's just an unfortunate situation. Period. And, and I like and I like Jason Mitchell. It's unfortunate, man. He I think he was gearing up for a really promising career in Hollywood. Yeah, and, I, th- you know I don't I mean? think he is all there mentally. I think he has a lot of things to work through. Oh, I mean, obviously. Oh, well, you don't say. No, but, like, this has been building up. Like, this wasn't just an erratic situation. He's had a bunch of situations leading up to this of erratic behavior. Yeah, I mean, we know that now. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm yeah, just, we didn't I'm know just, I'm just going from— Well, no, uh, and again, I've I've flipped out on planes, too. But the, the plane thing started it, and then you just keep seeing all these little stories what was of the plane? Him. What was the plane thing? Tell me again. Uh, he was he was trying to get in the first class seat, but they was like, nah, you're not in first class. You're in I'll coach. <laughs> That's my move. Yeah, I was <laughs> take a shot. We've all done yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Take a shot. He get took the, a shot. Get yeah. a couple sips of champagne at least before yeah. they kick you out. Yeah. <laughs> Tried to do that, and I guess flipped out on the plane, got kicked off and all that shit. Um, and then there was a few other incidents. But again, this is all we don't know. We don't. I, f- I flip out, and if I was famous, I, there'd be more headlines than him probably. <laughs> yeah. So I can't judge You're a little him. famous, Rory. <laughs> yeah. I'm not headline famous. What letter would you say Rory is on the celebrity list? Q. <laughs> You I'll give you a little more credit right. than that. You're a Q-less celebrity? No, we're going we're gonna to move on now. We're going to move on. <laughs> no more alley-oop. Took it out the air. <laughs> uh, what, else, what else is there that we need to discuss? Uh, game one. Oh, we were on stage. I didn't see game one at all. Neither did I. Yeah, I saw the last 57 I seconds. But I, I, will, I will night. tell you, I boy, do I love ESPN when there's no football, no draft, uh, baseball is early, no hockey, and fucking basketball is in the finals so you don't get games every day. And now all of those personalities with all of the shows that just mimic each other have to find something to talk about <laughs> without mimicking each other, but you're still just sitting there mimicking each other. How many fucking times are you going to ask us who's more important between Curry and Kawhi? <laughs> <laughs> like, Wait. But it was wh- like a full week of that. Who's more important to their team? Uh, no, nah, we'll, yeah. always, we'll always get some Lakers and Cowboys news somehow. Oh, yeah. The La- <laughs> they they bleeding us with the Lakers and LeBron and fucking uh, Magic Johnson and Genie and all this yeah. shit. They got, they better thank Magic Johnson. They better be cutting him a check. <laughs> yeah, for real. Because yeah. he is keeping it keeping it spicy. Mm-hmm. That whole Lakers don't, don't shit. Don't forget Drake on the sidelines. So all right. Got to gotta get two hours Yo, of that. Yo, I got to give Drake his props, man. I did like the little above-the-rim hoodie that he wore at whatever game that was. I think that was the and, last game. And so. I thought he killed that uh, Dell Curry Raptors jersey autograph from yeah, Dell Curry. <laughs> that was hard, man. Uh, now, what you going to do now, Fab? Did you like the? <laughs> I think about he is it. killing fast. Yeah. Let that sink in. Did you like him uh, offering up the piece of lint from his hair on Instagram? Uh, I did see that. that and then it went to eBay, was, and people thought, were bidding on it for a million dollars. That was funny. <laughs> yeah. So you thought that was funny? I thought it was corny. Uh, I thought it was kind of. Funny. It's only funny because it definitely wasn't the lint that he pulled <laughs> out at all. <laughs> but what if it was? And I can, it was I can imagine this. Drake hitting his assistant. Yo, go find me some lint. Yeah. And Drake is the dude that's like, yo, why are you standing in front of me talking with lint in your hair? Yeah. <laughs> like, come here. Let me get that. You're a waste man. <laughs> Drake definitely said, You're a waste man. <laughs> oh, man. Lint, yeah. That is kind of waste, waste man. That would have been funny if you just pulled a lint brush out of his pocket and just start brushing <laughs> that nigga's hair. I mean, first of all, Steph hasn't gotten a shape up in his life. Yeah, so we I can saw see his him marriage. Having... We saw his wedding photos. He didn't have Yo, a shape how up. How you show up to your wedding without wedding a shape photos. up? I don't think Steph Curry has been cool in his entire life, so he was forced to just stay in the gym and shoot from 70 feet back. <laughs> <laughs> There's no <laughs> that's, that's how he got that shot. Yeah, I agree. I can't, and I can't imagine a scenario where he was cool if you didn't know he had that jump shot. No. It's just crazy that Clay too, the, I think. This is the finals. Yeah, oh my god, Clay is a fucking doof. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we love these niggas. Yeah. Why are we sitting I, on I, I fuck with Clay. I love Clay. I hate, his, I, I hate his new haircut, but, but I, Clay I, I is Clay. but Clay's a little doof though. Yeah. Why Clay want to know why he ain't make one of the all NBA teams? Hey, it's cause Steph Curry and fucking Kevin Durant are on your team. Let's see how you bear on the bullets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you're fucking wizards or some shit. Yeah. All right. Uh, so do you guys think Kevin Durant will come back? Oh, God. No. Rory. This is the ESPN cast Rory. now? Rory. <laughs> Trying to get the Let's content. Debate. And, and, and no. It's and over. no. I don't yeah, know why over. they won't say that. No, he's not coming back. They're not going to say it, but it's over. KD won't be playing. Uh, no. But they will get four hours in the morning off just about that time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're going to bring in an ankle expert. That was one that I saw. That was talking about that and injury is way more serious than, than yeah, that's what the, that's what the ankle expert was saying. Yeah. That 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 was like an Achilles injury. That wasn't a a calf injury. Yeah, like every every athlete knows when you turn around and look back at your leg like that. When you look back at it, yeah, oh. that's that's oh, Achilles. Something else. Yeah, that's Achilles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you trying to look back at it with the athletes. <laughs> hey yo, you always to, that's I'm just like asking. I always take it to the to the freaky level just for content's sake, and then y'all <laughs> double down. <laughs> yeah, like that now it's too freaky, <laughs> too freaky. I'm backing out the joke. Uh, what else? What else do y'all want to touch on? Uh, Little Dirk turning himself in for whatever happened during the Super Bowl in Atlanta at whatever sports lounge that was, where that. there were two gentlemen having an altercation and shots were let off. A uh, dude got hit. He went to the hospital, had surgery, survived. So th- no, nothing was critical here. But Dirk turned himself in, uh, and they got a bunch of charges on him. Shit. Is this one of those cases where two people had an altercation, and because a rapper was there, they're now charged? I don't know. I have to wait and see. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how they how they implicated Dirk. Uh, but we because <laughs> he was there. I hope. I hope not, though. Whatever it is, I hope. Yeah. It's- yeah. You know what I mean? Because Dirk is, he's one of those, the younger dudes that I think is really talented and he has a. a Every a one of these future, young man. dudes that, that this happens to, I think, is super talented and has a super bright future. Yeah, yeah. man. They just got to get, you got to find Dirk a way to rap, just man. get away from the bullshit, man. Keep, stay clear. To, even if it means not going to the clubs, and all, you got to do what you got to do to avoid bullshit. There's people out here that's literally just putting themselves in the same room with you to fuck up your path and your progression. And that's what I'm saying. Back to earlier, our conversation about uh, just buying buying somewhere to go have adult fun and maybe uh, just uh, generate some revenue. Uh, If a bunch of people just got together and built maybe some creative centers or creative spaces where underprivileged kids or talented kids that are in urban areas that don't necessarily have the resources could be just be out of the streets. I was watching the news uh, a few weeks ago and I saw that in Newark there was this one school and one principal who on Fridays was letting the school stay open till like 9 or 10 o'clock mm-hmm. just so the kids would have somewhere to go. That's and, dope. and when I heard that, I was like, man, what fucking kids trying to be in school on a Friday night? And then they showed footage and that school was lit. So yeah. if you had a place like that with just like a bunch of laptops, maybe a few studios, well, they got rid maybe of a, lot a few of programs, sets. Man. Like, yeah. like we, a lot we, of need, the, we need to invest, uh, you know, you know in, who need to invest in that. Um, FDA in Harlem. Mm-hmm. They had a studio for, for a long time. The that school I, that my girl teaches at, or not teaches at, but uh, works at, they have a studio and recording program. It's I'm just like t- in a regular classroom. But they, yeah, but I'm talking about... Uh, space or building or big ass gym or rec room that uh, all are welcome in. Yeah. yeah. Now we were talking about, me and Brian were talking about that doing something like that upstate eventually. That'd be cool. In our hometown. Yeah. Yeah. I've been, it's been on my mind too for uh, Jersey City and just in Jersey New Jersey. Jersey City needs it. Yeah. Man. Jersey City needs it. So, so many talented kids out there. Hell yeah. Uh, just in New Jersey period. Yeah. A little gym, little studio, little gym, some studio, meals, some, some cameras, some foods, get on your yeah. YouTube shit. Yeah. Listen, I bet you, shit, if I had that, I bet you I'd walk in there and one of them kids would pop. <laughs> one of them kids would end up 20, 20 million on YouTube. 20 million on YouTube. Wouldn't doubt it all. Hey, and if you check all the people that are doing 20, 30, 40, 50 million on YouTube, it's some shit like kids opening toys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kid, kids yeah, cats sh- showing, showing you if you have cats, cats playing. <laughs> I love cats I playing watched. videos. <laughs> oh, man. They're great. I, I love when cats play. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you ever seen a, a cat in a shoebox? It's the most entertaining oh, shit you ever seen. Oh, come on. Don't let it be a cat and a dog, too. What? Oh, when they get along? Yeah. Oh, have They're a buddies. heart. Have a heart. The funny shit is you end up on that video trying to like look at some Pac video. Like You started yeah. out looking at a Tupac it's, video. Yeah, and you end up cats watching, in the yard. Yeah, you're like, how the fuck did I end up here? Oh, man, look at the cat in the yard. <laughs> Play, hit him up in the background. <laughs> yeah. You click Thug Life, it said Hug Life on the next shit. Like, come on, man. What is this? How am I here? Been on YouTube for three hours. 
Uh, well, listen, we're not going to be on YouTube for three hours because we're in Boston uh, tonight, which is every, like a couple every, hours. everything is pushed up. Our showtime is pushed yeah, up. Can the we meet get the and fuck out are here? pushed up. The exit is pushed up. Hard out is pushed up. Everything is pushed up. So we do have to get out of here. Hey, Savon, what's the time in here? Speak up. We can't hear you, nigga. Come tell me. Two. Oh, is the, y'all got it. What is almost two hours? Thank you. Yeah, okay. Thank you yeah. very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> Savon the Don. Yeah. Action Savonson. <laughs> uh, all right, I think we covered everything. Roots Picnic tonight. Yes, sir. Roots Picnic yep. tonight. Roots Picnic tonight. We'll all get hey. to festival together. Yeah, me, me and Rory will be in the grass somewhere drinking beer. Yeah. <laughs> me and Parks will be there at noon. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> we'll be sunburnt and exhausted by the time we get yeah, on stage. We'll be wasted but... by the time y'all get Yo, there. Yo, and now let me say this to y'all because I had thought about that, and I'm not playing with y'all. Uh, y'all, go, you festival poppy, so okay. I already know what time it is with you. Mm-hmm. Parks, <laughs> you a, a festival poppy of Jace. Uh, I already know what time it is with Maul. Ian is going to have a date, which I understand because me and Sin were supposed to be going, but Sin is not happening. Y'all are going straight to Philly. Yeah. Don't turn it up. And go have a blast with your Bex and all and your fucking Heineken. And our girlfriends. And your girlfriends. <laughs> your fucking Heinekens. <laughs> Yo, my man, I mean it like that. Yo, I mean it like that. I mean it like that. I'm sitting here. I'm my, There's I'm no other way for it to be meant. I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm just it's telling you who's gonna be there. To be, it's fucked up when you're supposed to be beefing with your ex, but you want to send a text like, "Yo, man, come to the picnic." Yeah, like cool. her's what performing. Is, how are you not gonna want to see her? <laughs> like honestly, she might be there. Who her? No. Wait, which her? All well, right, now you about to make me mad. All right, uh, so, sleepers. Are you gonna wear two artist passes? Because <laughs> the extra one. Oh man, I'm damn. Maul just put me in on another. All right, let's go. <laughs> hey, last, last. All right, nope, nope, nope. Uh, <laughs> That's your sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? Sleeper, sleeper, sleeper. Throwbacks. Ah, uh, sleepers, sleepers. Where'd you get those sleepers? <laughs> Spotify. <laughs> Thanks, Park. <laughs> Parks don't say much, but he makes his little lines count, don't he? <laughs> they work. Yeah, yeah, they always work. He's good. I told him all they would work. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, another great, amazing podcast from you gentlemen. You guys. Oh, oops. <laughs> yeah, yeah let's get back yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah. Been... <laughs> Where's the beer? Uh, so what's up? We taking we take them all to a white boy bar tonight? We have to. <laughs> we Ma, have to. Ma, Play Ma, some pool. Ma, can we fist pump tonight? Let's do it. No, ser- <laughs> seriously. Talking to Mike, nigga. We do the podcast. I'm talking to Mike, nigga. <laughs> Let's you say, it. yeah, we can? Yeah, let's do it. Holy shit. Boston? <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Rory, don't Rory look great with his hat on? <laughs> Yo, I know he put my hat on as like a joke, but you look mad responsible, Thanks. finally. Thanks, man. You mad look mature. Yeah, it's you funny look... what a hat will do. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> it'll, it'll lie. Uh, the Fedora rebrand. <laughs> Fedora Rory. Uh, we off to Boston. Some of y'all will see tonight in Philadelphia. Until then... Uh, life is a series of moments and moments pass, so let's make this one last as if it's all that we have. Until the next time, farewell, peace, and adios, Arriva Dirty, <laughs> so long, goodbye, hasta la vista. Hey, no more hasta la vista ever since he's trying to get Big Pump out of here. Fuck mm, that. Fuck that's him. true. Yeah, no Fuck him. We ain't no even talking. We talk. I know a la vista. No, no we got to no say that on Wednesday. Yeah, now it's the deuces, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> uh, see you Wednesday, say? man. Rory. All right, we're going to go now.